15 to go. Okay, we're back. 25,000, 50,000. Blinds, 50,000. Annie, five handed. Playing for 101,000 up top. Next one out is 27,600. Then 36, 40, now almost 50,000 for third, 67 for second. So this pressure's ramping up out there. Pablo, ace, queen off in the big blind. Just gonna call against Derek's open. The king 10, get a raggedy flop. Gonna check it over to Derek. Let's see if he puts out a little continuation bet here and tries to win this pot right now as a chip leader. Overwhelming chip leader. King of spades is nice to have. I would have went ahead and thrown a, thrown a bet out there. Yeah, because then we can keep betting now, right? Like we made the flush. But he did pick up a straight draw and a flush draw. So a lot of equity in this, on that turn. Oh, he's going to check it. Oh, the worst possible outcome. Kind of let Pablo get there. Probably would have won that pot with a bet on the turn. See if Pablo checks it over to him or bets for value. blind is remarkable right you know that's, yeah. that's something to notice I think that's an auto three bet for a lot of people but Just being careful yep. against the chip leader when you're second in chips I can get behind that too although three bet would have probably won the pot well I think sometimes what see what may look like risky is actually more careful right right like let's just get this over with now obviously when I'm three betting out of the big blind, I have good hands and you're fine with him knowing you have a good hand and just folding instead of putting yourself in spots. I mean, he had a great run out and he ended up winning the hand. Yes. But could have easily lost a hand where a three bet just wins so much pre. Oh, two queens here. Allen opens. TK's on uh, 15, 18 big blinds here ish. Yeah, and I only started with about 21, 22. Just gonna lay it down. Yeah. Al says, no, I try to open one pot. Right. Shane in the YouTube chat. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. You are listening to the old man of the beard, Eddie Marskowski and Kelly Slay. Yeah, I forget we just had to start over on uh, YouTube, right? We got to do a new one going. So if they're just tuning in, they don't know. We're down to the final five here at the Best Bet Jacks $2,000 buy-in main event winter series, or excuse me, winter open. $101,000 for first. Next person out is going to get $27,000. Back to that uh, hand where Al had the ace nine of spades last last hand. What's the uh, what's the bottom of your call range there? When you get three bets. It's three. He had, I think he had ace four of spades, right? No, I thought it was ace nine. Was it? Okay. Well, I, um, I thought he might give it some consideration for a call. It's got to be close, right? No, it's not. I, I mean, for me to consider it, it needs to be ace 10 suited and even ace 10 suited as a fold, right? Like, you got to have, a, I'd rather have queen jack suited than ace 9 suited. Yeah, easily dominated. A 9 10 suited and ace 9 suited. Eddie you used to be a live player, right? <laughs> Formerly. Formerly. <laughs> 
true story there, kid. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually missing work right now. Yeah, you are. This is, uh, this is, this is minus EV for you. Yeah, what am I thinking? But I have to talk to Jesse and get a raise here. Old, old man in the beard. I have to tell him, listen, man, you know how much, you know how much I'm missing out on here? Right. The just, long car. Just, you know. just, just, just show him your, your hand histories. There's two long cars a night. Blind versus blind battle here, both with an ace. Danny's going to be the first to bet, and he's going to win. Yeah, it's going to be some, uh, I think it's going to take a while. I'm, I'm I'm, I'm expecting uh, TK and Derek to sort of grind them down a little bit. I'm expecting Al to be very careful. Pablo has proven he's going to be pretty careful. Um, Danny looks like he's not afraid to get his chips in on, on occasion, so he's probably going to be the most volatile of the of the five that are left. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I, uh, we just ordered food, and I'm not worried at all about this thing ending before we finish. Could, could be a long while. Derek, too. Derek's been playing. I mean, he's been going after it a little bit, but he's been playing very careful and cautious as well with, with those chips. He's been playing great. I mean, I'm, I, I think, honestly, he's played, you know, the best. But, uh, yeah, he's played very well. And he, he's, he put some pressure on with some hands that we – a couple of times with the, with the offsuit aces, and but he's made a couple of crazy good folds. Yeah, really, some really impressive folds. Tuthill in the chat says, randomly saw a Kelly Slay WSOP ESPN appearance from the late 2000s the other day. The man did not look a day above 25. You know what? He still don't, Tutty. I do mess around and call him the old man, but he's aging well. Aging very Richard Gere-esque, I told him the other day. You know what? I look pretty good for 83, don't you think? And actually, you're not even wearing the hat today. It's yeah. you're, You even look younger without yeah, the hat. I got, I got, yeah, I got, they don't see I don't have gray hair when I'm with a hat. <laughs> Tutty, I, ha I have to tell you, I know the one you're talking about. That was back in 08 or 09, something like that. And uh, I played for 10 hours on that WSOP to uh, table, and I was shown for one 10-second hand when I busted the grinder. That was it. Right. Hey, man. It's hard. It's hard out there. That was back in the day when the online companies would pay you to wear their patch. So, oh, yeah. So I, I, I did get my buy-in paid for for that 10-second wow. ten second appearance. Wow. So that was, uh, that was, those were the good old days. Lucky you. That was nice. My final, or my future table appearance, I played on all day, literally from the first level to the last, day one. Busted Jennifer Tilly. They showed the hand of Jennifer Tilly busting, and they never showed me. Oh, that's funny. I was just random player. Yeah. <laughs> and they never even random looked at me. Random player in the three seat. They never even looked at me. That's hilarious. Uh, well, in, on the t I had the same issue. I had uh, Ms. Rocky and Dennis Phillips and some Brazilian female pro in the one, two, and three seat, and I was in the nine. Back then, it was nine-handed, and the cameras were on them you all were day. You were holding the camera. Yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was not even in the background. That's how that was. They did have Mama Slay on there, though, sweating the, sweating the run out with me. You guys got a feature, too, with both your names, right? Like, didn't they do a thing? Norman Chad or something? Talk about the Kelly Slay? Last year, uh, yeah, Jeff. That, oh, yeah, last year, Jeff Platt, yeah. Yeah, Jeff went over. And now, that's cool. Now, that's very cool. Not everybody has that. No. I promptly busted. I was looking the, at the TV. I know that guy. I busted off the side of feature tables soon after. Well, you came. You did what you came there for. <laughs> <laughs> we got Derek opening the ace nine off. Danny waking up with two jacks. Going to three bet. Should get. Should get it through here. Derek shows I'm not. I'm not bullying here. Had a hand. Teddy's asking if you got any moisturizing tips. Me and him need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. 
I miss old Tuddy. Where's he been? I haven't seen him in a while. I know. I don't see him enough. He needs to come around more. I don't really want him in my fields, but I'd like to see him. Yeah, you're right. Stay away, Tuddy. <laughs> Seventeen bigs. <clears throat> I think it's gonna be our short stack right now. A limp from Pablo and Derek's gonna raise again. This is the third or fourth time. Yeah. This has been a this has been a pattern. Pablo's going to see a, see a flop this time, and I think he should. Okay, this is the first time he's Lemp called. He's uh, continued. Usually he's, he's folded. Oddly enough, Derek with the best hand. Heads up. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the 6-7 to find, find a win here. Derek's surely going to bet. Small bet, one big, two big, somewhere in the middle. Oh, he checked oh, it back. playing coy. Uh-oh, messed up. Yeah. Well, he, he knows this is the first one that Pablo checked and called with, so maybe he's a little, little, being a little careful. We can think, see the card. So. I think, I feel like if we see him check that flop, he's going he's gonna to throw some big bets in the, later on in this hand. See, I, I would have loved to see that bet on the flop. Yeah. Well, even smaller, but yeah, just, like, just bet, just bet pure. King King Deuce is a pure small bet, very small. He, he doesn't have, he doesn't have, he doesn't call with limp, he doesn't limp call with deuces. Do we, so do we, we, do we, we bomb this hold? river? We bomb this river. Try I to think, get him off. I think he is. I mean, Derek don't play this way to not do it. Let's see. I think Derek's got the queens. Queens, Jack, tens plus, where this, where he, where he doesn't. I mean, he knows, still he knows has, Pablo still has, has something. King X. Pablo calls the turn. He's got something, but he doesn't have yeah. that okay. much. So, it's can we get him off of it? Is the question. This needs to be about. It's never a king, right? Seven fifty. About half of Pablo's stack. I think five hundred will get it done. It's gonna go much smaller. Three seventy-five. In some ways, it even looks scarier. Like you want, you want this to is, call. This is one of the reasons why you don't show guys you make folds like king queen suited and and the the limp the limp folding his hands and showing. Yep. Because like he knows, okay, well this guy he he does he's he's a careful player. He's probably gonna make some folds. And then later on in the in the tournament, they're gonna go after you with the nine four off. You know what I mean? Yes, we're watching it. I think I'd have like a little bit bigger bet out of him, <clears throat> out of Derek. Yeah, that's why I, I, I thought he was going to go real big. Actually, uh, what do you, what do you do here with six, seven of clubs? You just got to put it in every time. It's just too high up. For me, yeah, but I would, I'd have paid off earlier and lost in a similar spot when yeah. we talked about. This is a really big situation for Pablo here. Not a, not an envious spot. I don't it's like. It's just it. whether or not he's going to try to preserve his chip lead over second and third and fourth because he's in second right now. Um, or not. That's probably going through well, his mind. Gonna, after this hand, it's going to be different. I think he's getting ready to muck it right now. He's got a lot of hand. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to have worse. It is a bluff catcher, though. It's, I mean, yeah, they, of course. Like, but it, well, it, yeah, Derek doesn't have, isn't value betting two sixes. Mike says he's going to be raising all in. Oh, that there you go. Up. Down the call. Good call, Pablo. There you go. Oh, Derek's going to be upset yeah, that he didn't yeah. go bigger. He didn't want to. Wow. Okay. Real big pot there. That's the first, first little chink in the armor we've seen from Derek. Pablo's going to get up to 2.6 and take the chip lead. 
Yeah, that's big uh, pot. It's a big Change, pot. Changes the dy dynamics and, and of the table. Derek would have won that with a little small C bet too. Pablo up to 52 bigs. Derek down to 43. As you see, TK and Allen both around around the same 17. Yeah, Allen tends to get uh, pretty snug in this some good formation. TK hasn't said a single word the entire final table. After that pot, he says that was some good poker. I love, I love it. I love it. Man of, man of few words. That was some good poker too. That was a really good call by Pablo. I like Derek. I mean, it felt like he had to go for it once he checks back that flop. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I would have liked to see him go a little bigger. Um, Still might, have got, still might have got the same call. We don't know. You're right. We don't know that a bigger size even gets the fold. But I tell you what, with how long he tanked and what seemed like a genuine kind of distressed moment, I think uh, I would bet that a, a bigger 80% plus gets the job done. I agree. Derek gets the win with the three. Blind versus blind. A little limp pot, limp pot check down. Yep. Happy to show a three down and take the dub. Got my sushi flowing right here. Yeah. If you guys hear some silence, it's me and Eddie eating. <laughs> this is just dinner time here. <laughs> Pablo is going to use this chip lead and see if he's going to actually loosen up a little bit. We saw he was playing extra careful, played really well, won some pots. Now he's got the chip lead. Maybe he'll put the put the gas on a little bit. Let's see. <clears throat> see if anyone's going to lean on Al and TK. I think I think Derek would have had he retained the chip lead, but now he's in second. I still expect him to. Yeah, and he's uh, he actually gets to act after Pablo folds, you know, like yes. in, in most scenarios. Yes, and a lot of times after TK's out of the pot as well. TK, what are we doing there? Oh, oh, what are we doing there? Friends and family discounts. Friends and family discounts are more expensive. Mm -hmm. Talk about. That's why it's more. Yeah. <laughs> Al with the eight six suited on the button. I'll let it go. Fifteen blinds. You open that one? Nah, nah. Final table really isn't the time to start playing eight and nine high hands. Especially against the chip leader in the big blind. I actually saw Ray as he was walking out. He busted. Uh, I think he got seventh in this. So. And he played a nine, he played a hand nine eight suit and my one critique was yeah, I probably just wouldn't even have played that hand, you know, thirty less than thirty bigs. You just this isn't the time to play bingo with that stuff. If you want to play it, three bet it, you know, act like use it as a bluff, not a not a like don't try to let me try to Make hit a, a hand. Flop. Yeah. But then you're yeah. then you're playing multi way with a nine high. Like you get flush over flush, you get straight over straight. Yeah, I I, I think that's uh typical leak in a lot of recreational players is, is they play the same hand hand ranges no matter how deep their stacks are and how close they are to the final table they just that's how they got there making hands with those kind of hands they just play them and uh, don't realize how deep you need to be to, to make those hands profitable yeah I mean sometimes it works out listen like obviously you see big pots happen 
TK hits the straight here on the turn. Pablo does have the eight of spades. Oh, tough card to make any money for TK. Probably just going to look to get the show down. And they got a nice little bluff catcher. Block bet? One big? Let's see. Pretty good candidate. A little bigger, third. Yeah. Two bigs. I guess if you get raised in this spot, you you know. Maybe even a queen. Like we don't even think that Paul would raise a queen. Right. Right. Like right. That's we, what we, I mean. We've seen him do it's some a, pretty. It's a it's a flush or nothing if yeah. he gets raised. So if yeah. you bet if you bet small, you're sort of inviting that raise, even if it's a bluff raise. Although I'm not sure how much of that Pablo's got in his game necessarily from what we've seen so far, but I'm sure this is a fold. Yeah. Justin Miner makes a good point. Says it's a bit harder for Pablo to leverage the chip lead with the second biggest stack to his left. Yep, you're right. And it's a guy who's not who's who's willing to get a little sticky. Pablo wanting to hero up here with an eight. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's feeling good. He's feeling himself. He's like, hey man. He's got a pair. He's got a blocker called, to the blocker just, to the flush. I just called with a seven. This time it's an eight. Uh oh. He thinks they're pushing him around now. Great value bet by uh, TK. Yeah, it was. Gets, gets two bigs there on that. Yeah, river. it was. One of the worst rivers in the deck. Great value. Yeah, that's two bigs. That probably wouldn't have won. Just a bit. Huh? Yeah, just a bit. He's worried about if he missed the bet. I didn't have much. I called him real life. Yeah, I think when they look that one back, they're going to be surprised that uh, Pablo looked him up with an eight there. <laughs> but he just he just picked off one from Derek the hand before, so you know maybe he's. Feeling like they're pushing him around a little bit. Gonna get a little sticky. How about that? Derek gets a walk in the big line with the Kings. How do they know? How do they know? That's rough. First walk? Is that, is that may have been the first walk we've seen? I don't remember one. Hal's hanging around here. Still in the mix. Five left. All these players guaranteed 27,000. Yeah, I expect Al to have a hand when he puts his chips in. Five handed. Paolo raises the button with an all suit ace and gets it through. Nice structure here, you know, long, hour long levels. On day two, plenty of chips. You know, sometimes we see these final tables and everybody's got eight, 10, 12 big blinds and it's a it different form of poker, but there's enough enough chips yeah. here, enough time for people to play some hands and, oh, yeah. and play some poker. And then, like you said, the, 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 the subtle little value bet by TK, things like that really uh, have, have more of a chance to show themselves. Yeah, I'm jealous. All these guys get to play this deep. At these stakes, you know, this is this is when it gets fun. This is kind of what you play for as far as tournament poker. Right. Derek, 8-7 suited on the button. Looks like there's a little rash of raise and takes here. <coughs> you remember back in the old days, they would only have one table. There was no streaming, and it would always be cut. And uh, you just saw highlight, oh, yeah. highlight yeah. after highlight after highlight. Just the queens versus the ace king. Yeah, people, people don't realize most of tournament poker is this: yeah. raise, 
poles. Arrays, seabed, poles. It's the thousands and millions of little micro decisions that, that really etch out your win rate. Because they happen a lot, too. Like, a lot, so if you're making a mistake, you're doing it a lot, like in a lot of scenarios. Yeah, you're repeating it. Yep. And when you leak something, when you when you plug a leak, you're just you're adding so much more win rate every every time. The best players have the least amount of leaks. That's it. Yeah. Here's Troy. TK. Deuces in the big blind. On a raise after after uh, Allen completed with the ace five. Oh, he's going to let it go. This is Al being very careful. He would have raised that in a small blind. Or do you limp that one sometimes? Ace five off. I don't think you ever limp it. Where's that at? I don't think you ever limp it to limp fold it. That's no, for sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Probably I just meant it. Are, 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 are you, is that in your raising range? I mean, Most yeah, you can certainly raise with it, but when you do limp, it's a limp jam. It's perfect stack size to limp jam on a guy, you know. Hand like deuces, I'm surprised TK just didn't put him in. You don't really want to raise fold, but you would hate to call it off for the guy, like, to a guy. Maybe maybe he, he's, he's fine uh, narrowing down his calling range to a guy like Al and folding deuces. That's probably yeah. what it is. <clears throat> Yeah. But Al gets the, I mean, ace, an ace high right there is pretty good. Yeah, you had 12 big blinds yeah. or whatever it was. I have 12 now. Ooh, how's this flop for you? Not going to win him anything, but it's always fun to see see three of them come up there. Well, he limped in too, looking for a little action. Yes. People play a pretty heavy, uh, complete strategy out of the small blind, especially right, late. And then Lemp raised the, the top and some of the bottom. Yeah, for sure. Lemp call everything in the middle. It's, pro it's probably overdone, actually, but it's definitely what the pool is doing. So really, I mean, it should be doing the opposite. Card racking, two jacks now. Yeah, he is. Derek with the 10 7 off. Mm -hmm. Two to one chip lead. Let's see a flop. And this, these guys are second and third in chips behind Pablo right now. So they're going to be a little wary of each other. With a couple of short, with Al being short. And Danny being short. Her. Like this little uh, one big blind C bet on the Ace 9 4. Disconnected board. Yep. Yeah, a lot of, on these ace highs, that's all it's got to be. A lot of, I'm, a little, I'm even a little surprised that Derek called with the 10 7 there. That's such a small bet. You are supposed to call really wide range, but uh, 10 7 didn't really make much. Yeah, I agree. You really want to be cognizant of hands that when you have a straight, there's a better straight that that hand's 100% in the opener's range. So on the 10 7, uh, you know, 8 9 jack is a straight. 8 9 jack is also a straight to queen 10. And T, uh, TK is opening 100% of his queen 10 hands, suited and off. So you really want to be cognizant of staying out of those situations. Would have been interesting if a heart came off here on the river. It looks like Dirk may take a little stab at it. Two nines and two fours out there. I'm sure. Case not going to get away from the jacks here, but any four, any nine, any ace beats him. So, I 
Yeah, really the worst run out for TK. Yeah. They're taking advantage of it, putting a nice, nice chunky bet out yeah, there. Yeah, love it. Put some pressure on TK because it's a, it's a big it's a big chunk of his of his remaining stack now. But um, let's see if it works. Two twenty five into three seventy five. Not a lot of cards to call with on that flop, although he did just bet one big blind. So. We really only beat a bluff here, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice bet, Derek. Well played, don't, Derek. Don't, don't mind the fold from TK, because honestly, we, we don't. We only beat a bluff, and how many bluffs does he have? Yeah, he's, that's one of them. He's got he's to gotta have something like backdoor flushing straight uh, that, yep. that, that worked out, because there's really not a lot on, out there. Yep. All of his 4X can bet like that. All of his 9X can bet like that. He didn't have a heart as, as part of his 10-7 combination. It was really, really good bet. There's the payouts on the screen now. 101,000 up top. Next player out gets 20, almost 28,000. So the jumps are pretty significant. Another reason uh, TK probably just made a pretty tight fold there just to preserve that lead over Al with 11, Danny with 20 bigs. Pick a better spot than guessing if we're being bluffed or not. I think the most experienced players know they can find better spots to chip up. And they don't need to take a chance that some of us recreational players might feel like we need to take. Yeah, I agree. Because everyone's trying to like walk that fine line of of what is the exploit fold that you know and what you know what's not, and uh, that's where I think the best live players have a real feel for that. You know, it's the internal computer from millions of hands live. You're exactly right. Sometimes, it's your, it's your sometimes it's, software. it's the way the guy's breathing. Sometimes it's the way the money, the chips went in. Yep. Sometimes it's the time. Sometimes you don't even know. You just feel it. Yep. It's something like muscle memory from seeing lines played like that from other, from other people over the years, and, and, and kind of understanding the hands they use. That's a nice bluff by Derek. Very good. And, and honestly, I think. TK would have folded a lot sooner had it been one of the other players that made that bet. Oh yeah. He, he took Agreed. a while with Derek because he knows Derek has that ha is capable of making that bluff. That's a tough spot for TK, and I certainly don't hate the fold. Yeah, was, was, he put him in the cage there on that river. That was tough. Might be go time here for Allen. I think it is. Pablo opens cut off. Allen sitting there with ace queen. And ten big blinds, right? Yeah, seems like a seems like a no brainer slam. Seems dunk. like a let's Hollywood for a couple minutes and let's try to get a call from Ace Jack. Let's, let's pump it in there. He might call though. Al's very careful in these spots. Ah, oh, there he goes. That a boy. Take it down now or C five. I think I can let King 10 go here, Tom Pablo, against Al's jam. We're easily dominated. We're sometimes... He's folding. He's not even considering this. Uh, I, no, I think he's legitimately considering because there's only 10 bigs, but um, I, I think it's an easy fold. I mean, I've seen crazier, but I'd be pretty shocked if he flicked it in with the King 10 off. Well, if he ever if he if he ever catches Al's with pocket nines, you know he he loves it. But that's about his best case scenario. He's in pretty good shape as is, but he yeah. doesn't he don't but, know that. But, yeah. but, it's, it's, but Al's got Ace King a lot. He's he got, said he felt like he was going to win that one. Awesome. He, he, yeah, wanted, he wanted to get in there. Yeah, he may have. Lord knows they. It happens. They, Lord knows they beat me that way this week a few times. It happens. Wow. 40% of the time. 
do with them. Right? The do that. I had the best hand that time. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> You're listening to The Old Man and the Beard, Eddie Marskoski and Kelly Slay. Country on the ones and twos. Back in the saddle again. I didn't realize Best bet, 2K main event, 101,000 for first. And we got 260 runners. Well, we got 260 entries. Some of us had more than one. Yes, so some of us did. I wonder how many uh, unique entries we had. That'd be interesting to know. I saw quite a few guys with multiple bullets. I saw some guys running back and forth to the cage. I, I wasn't sure what they were doing. They were back and forth so many times on Saturday. Yeah, you might be talking about me. <laughs> I wasn't going to call any names. <laughs> but, you know, you got to be in it to win it. I know that. That's true. Got to win to win. Here we go. Derek opens cutoff. Let's see what uh, TK does in the big one. Queen. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a... But Racy Daisy, what sizing is he going to use? 24, 24 big blinds. He made it 120. Oh, oh he's just going to stick it all. Yeah, all I, don't, all. I don't mind that. Yeah, 22 big, 20 something. If we call and we miss, we're in a bad, we're in bad spot, right? Yeah, and we don't, we don't want to allow a hand like 9-10 suited, 8-9 suited, pocket sevens to peel or something like that. Let's just, let's just get it over with now. If you got something better than this, good on you. James Brown in the chat. What's up, buddy? JB. JB. Legend. JB's been getting deep in a lot of tournaments lately. You don't go too long before running deep in the end of something. And he knows how to run up some stacks, that's for sure. <coughs> Small blind, 8 6 here. Just complete. Hope we get to see a flop. Yep. Looks like we're going to get to. Yeah, when he, when the big blind has us covered like Pablo does, you don't want to do a lot of raising into that. Interesting little lead here. Sort of toward the bottom of our range. See if we can steal it. Very. If we get any resistance, we're done with it. Very. Interaction with the four and the ten. I can see it. There's some turn cards. Uh oh. Turned a little equity. Uh, that just probably means it's going to go check, check a lot here. And then, he, and then he can check the side on the river. Let's see if uh, Pablo goes for value on the river. Very likely checking the turn. I wouldn't mind a little bet here. Yeah, me too. Pay, pay, make them draws, charge them, and then you get to decide on the river what you want to do. I like yeah. the size too, I like it. 60% of pot or so? Yeah. I like this bet. Yeah, I, I'm expecting uh, TK to let this one go. Yeah, yeah, there's just. Even though you hit you hit, you hit, hit one of the best cards you could have hit, you, uh, you're not beating anything. Yeah. Unless he happens to be betting now with some turn backdoor draws. Really, you want to turn a seven. It gives you double gutted. Eight's not what we wanted. Especially to the size, right? If he, if he put out a little, little bitty bet, you could maybe think about calling here, but this is a pretty, pretty chunky bet, yeah. But again, TK takes his time. Doesn't give away anything with any timing tells. Look at it. And then he finds out what the guy had. Yeah. Easy game. Yeah. You guys being honest, he says. <laughs> he's a, you know he's a poker player when he's uh, questioning people being honest. Right? Well, I mean, I guess I, I know you're not going to go off the street, so I guess I could. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess they know that people are watching the stream and going to tell them in 15 minutes if they ask, but... Uh, I'm certainly not going to show you my cards unless I have to. Oh, he just said there. He said, I know you're not going to watch the stream, so I guess I could just lie to you. Right. Uh oh, Danny with the 10s. Open jam. Open, ripping 15, uh, almost 20 bigs here. 18 yeah. bigs. Big jam here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But I guess you're scared to get any 
over cars on the flop. It can't be that bad. I just think you got such a big hand, you want to get a low value for it if you can. Well, but it's, you want to be able to raise other hands. Like if you're just going all in, how many how many hands are you doing that with? Right. Ten, eight, like I don't like not not that many. If when you raise, you can do it with fifty. You, know? you can do it a lot. Yeah, so, I, I I said earlier he was going to be one of the more volatile players. And there's another example. He's going to play some big pots one way or the other. Him we saw him saw rip it in there with the nine eight of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, he did. Got the, uh, what did he get the fold? Big hand in the big blind. Just like king something, right? King queen suited. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, king queen suited. Yeah. Speaking of. Speaking of. Just completes. Danny with the 10 5. Oh, he's going to put him in if there was any kind of raise. Probably yeah, snap was, him off was, if he that jammed. Was, that was definitely a. Limp jam if he got raised. Uh oh. Ten for Danny. Queen for Derek. Gonna lead this, out one big. This might not uh, end well for Danny. Just call, buddy. Raise. Oh uh -oh. No. No, 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 no. Oh no. We don't want to raise oh. with the middle of our range. No. We just get the worst hands to fold and the better hands to come along. This is uh, not what you want to do. Are we going to make it 300 or? Oh, I'm going to call and give him some rope. What a car, good car. Wow, made two pair. Unreal. Gets the raise on the turn or a raise on the flop and spikes it. That's what I'm doing wrong. You gotta practice that. How much is he gonna go here? Small. Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. Let that, Derek. Let that. Derek turn. See a card for free here. Yeah, I think Derek. I don't think Derek's gonna put in a raise at this point. I think mm. he's just gonna. He's in check call mode. And, uh, feelers are up for a little bit because this size is not bluffy. It's like this is no longer Jack Nine. And if it's not yeah. bluffy, then what's going on, you know? Yeah. Doesn't even feel like queen eight or something. Check, check, check. Check, check. Wow, check, River went back. check, check. Oh, whoo. Derek is uh, dumbfounded right now. Derek he got feels. raised by the 10-5. On the flop, yeah. yeah. But then it goes check, check. He doesn't even get punished. Right. He only lost two point five big blinds on the turn. And then the people are telling me uh, you open Rift 8-9 Is that true? Oh, 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 getting called out. Is that true? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> That's great. And he just opened Rift 10s, yeah, too, funny. so you'll he find that out. And he pointed, pointed next to him. I was the other guy. <laughs> just called it. Just, call, just called him out in front of everybody. So my friends are telling me it was the 8-9 suited. All right, TK, picking up some cards here all of a sudden. You know, he was pretty quiet there for quite a while, and all of a sudden, just waiting for his spots. Derek with the ace three of diamonds. Let's it go. There's another example. A lot of people see that hand, they think it's so pretty, they gotta play it, and uh, you don't. You could. You could. Al's going to check. How big do you think TK is going to go? Such a disjointed board. It is a flush draw out there, but a queen seven deuce is just nothing. Yeah, I'd just go small. 75, 50. I was, I was thinking 100. Let's see. 100? Yeah. Same thing. Too much. Maybe on a queen seven, three, or four, but the deuce is just irrelevant. So it's like a two card board. TK slowly chipping up. Oh, yeah. He was down to 15 big lines there once, I think. And not winning any huge pots. Like, there's no there's no big confrontations there, right? It's just all of a sudden, he's at 30 bigs. Al's at 11. Yep, he's just small balling him like, you know, yep. his, his sizing, he's able to do a lot. 
That's everything. You can tell who the professional is just by watching, you know. If you know what you're looking for. Well, I guess so. Derek opening the cutoff. Jack eight offsuit. On TK's big blind, gonna get it through. Derek stepping out a little bit. I venture to say most of the other players that are not opening Jack eight off in the cutoff. Again. Yeah. We let call this one. Limp jammed on him last time, so we, we got him we got him tamed. I see a ten. Leading right out with a third. And the, and the big blind just just calls or literally have any two cards. And uh, Great draw. Uh oh. Gonna chop a lot. That helped that helped TK more than he knows. A little surprised Pablo didn't make a little raise there. It's gonna be a bet. On the turn. A pair and a and a straight draw. Yeah, I think it could have been considered. Although maybe seven eight is one of our eights we do want to check. What's the river three? Maybe it's like not up there yet, but you can see it's a it's a blank three. Yeah, three hearts. Chop it, Chop it up. up. Nice bet by TK though. Small bet trying to get trying to get called by an ace high or. King High, maybe? I want to do one every time I win. You can do it every time. You every time. I've been playing with him two days. I ain't seen him win once. Every time I be blind on blind. Every time I check back my options, blind on blind. He needs to do it. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. You show weakness, he's going to put a bet out there. 57 pages worth of They seem surprised. If they don't know, they don't know. They don't know, they don't know. Raise it up. Four, one, two, four, three, four, five. One point. Sure. sure. Yes. I got your hand. Eight, Eight four suited. Four, four. You didn't Mom. Play this he did. No, Spread out stacks here. Yeah, Al's a short one. I think they're mostly uh, going to try to be careful till he doubles or busts. And they don't know he's going to wait forever. I uh, just getting ready to say that they better strap in because Al's Al's going to have a hand when he puts his last chips in when he's short like this, which is actually really good for Derek and, and Pablo if they yeah if they should step use on the, the chips. step on the gas. Or the problem is is even the other guys still have like thirty big, so they can. Like the, the the distance away from Al is really big. There you go, Danny. Make a little bet with a gut shot. You had the best hand, but you don't know that. And he bets out with the 9-5, gets the 4-3 to hold. Again, guys, I do want to remind you, don't forget, March 14th through the 24th, that's the next 
tournament series that will be at Best Bet Jacksonville. It will be the Run Good Destination Series. Of course, the headline being a $1,200 buy-in, 300K guarantee main event that's going to be taking place, as well as a bunch of other events as well. You can actually go to our website, bestbetjacks.com, to check out the entire schedule of the Run Good Series, satellites as well. Again, that's March 14th through the 24th, the Run Good Series, returning back to Best Bet Jacksonville. Yeah, that Run Good Series was a lot of fun last time. I'm looking forward to it again. Remember, they had the, uh, the bounty, celebrity bounty thing. They had the... Which will be coming back. That's yeah, one of the nice. as well. And I'm going to guess Eddie will be an ambassador bounty again. Come get some. And Kelly. Come get some. <laughs> I'm going after your bounty. Good luck, buddy. Good. Yeah, I know. You'll just fold. I gotta wait till you. I gotta wait till you fold down to the big line. <laughs> Here we go. Jack versus threes. So Derek folds with threes. I like that. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, Alan picked a bad time. Pablo raised the cutoff, and Allen went ahead and stuck it in with ace-10. Can't blame him there. No, not at all. Standard play here. Pablo snap caught him. Let's see if Still Al got, can hit an ace to stay alive here. Still got 30% chance of spiking that ace and continuing on. Uh, oh, nobody's, tough. Uh, yeah, that's just out the way. I need an ace, not a heart. Nice hand. Uh, good game, Al. Good luck, yep. everybody. Real play, buddy. Great game, Al. Al's going to finish in fifth place, taking home 27600 for his efforts. He satellited in, so it's even even more profit than normal. So yeah, Very, played. very well played, Al. Yeah, very well played. I'm, I'm impressed by what I saw from Al. From, uh, he was at my table uh, on Saturday. In fact, three of these guys were at my table on Saturday. Maybe that's why I'm sitting here. Uh, Danny was at my table, Al was at my table, and Derek was at my table. You know, great, great score for Al, and definitely very happy for him. But on the, on the kind of other, on the other end, now people know that he doesn't always have it. <laughs> you know, he's not, he doesn't always have it. So uh, kind of covers blown, Al. Yeah, maybe, Sorry, buddy. maybe the cat's out of the bag a little bit. But nonetheless, well done, Al. I'm sure we're going to see you at more and more final tables in the future. Absolutely, he played well. He, he played well to run up a stack at my table. On, on Saturday, I'm, honestly, I think he had 100,000 by the second break. Play, played very well. Yeah. Yep. Like I said, I met his daughter the other day. I'm sure she's she's got a lot to be proud of with her dad this weekend. Well done, Al. Shout out to Lauren. And then there were four. We said coming in here, uh, when the day started, it was a high probability we were going to see TK and Derek toward the end of the day, and here we are. TK and Derek toward the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me if they didn't end up heads up. Yeah, and then some kind of deal be made, just like the Jeff Trudeau, TK, final table. Yep. Got to drive home. He's going to bet it and take it on the turn. Queen this time fires again. Yep, he's been limping his whole range, really. I mean, I, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, just, just the A6. The, I, I, he raised that one time and he lost that spot. Yeah, that's true. I forgot he raised that one. For the most part, he's been completing his entire range and then playing, playing uh, post-flop 
Or he did. He did. He did limp jam the uh, King Ten. Oh, it's hurt bad. When uh, Pablo stepped out with bottom of the range, nine deuce or eight deuce, whatever it was. Which I don't mind. I think that's a fine hand to raise with. Just be done with it. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> the next one out is up to 30, almost 37,000. 49, almost 50,000 for third. Wow, big. 67 for second and 101 for first. Big paydays looming for these boys. And, and big jumps too, right? Oh, yeah. Significant jumps here at the end, so. 13K jump between fourth and third. And another 13. No, almost 20. Yeah, 18 after that, and then the big one. 33. It's a big old joke. First and yep, they still have plenty of chips. Now that Al's gone, um, all, all the stacks are healthy enough to play some poker. How's the sushi? I hear the sushi yeah, here is, I, is among the best in the city, I tell if not you, state. Yeah, it's, it's one of the, it is the best in the city. For my money, I love it. They brought him with him. He, he was, uh, he brought him from Japan. The owner of Best Bet was visiting Japan years ago before he opened Best Bet. Met the, met the sushi place, open best bet, and talked him into coming down here and doing it. Wow. I knew there was a story there. I didn't know that much of the story. Yeah, why it's so good. Look who's in the chat now. Oh, the real Joe Batterman. How about that? We have arrived. We got the real wow. Joe. Wow. We got the real Joe watching us on the stream. Welcome to the stream, Joe. Listen, that's the uh, 35th place in the WPT $1,100 Prime event. Right there. I am aware. He went super deep out there. It's close to greatness. Loyal listener. Yeah. First, first timer here. First time caller, long time <laughs> listener. <laughs> All right, Derek on the button, opening the queen deuce suited, four-handed. Uh, Joe's coming in with a strategy right away. The big, if the big blind never even considers isoing Jack Four, you can probably stop limping, limping Ace Queen. Yeah, you know, he's on the next level. Get your uh, solvers out of here. Don't you know this is live poker, sir? I'm just gonna look you in the eye and see if you got it. That's right. I don't like the way you're breathing. <laughs> I don't know how long Joe's been watching, but uh, Pablo's been showing him his cards, too, uh, a few times after he made some pretty tight folds. So I don't think he's worried about getting ISO with the jack. Although he did it. He did it with the nine, nine deuce or eight deuce. So I, I take that back. Pablo did raise. He did. He actually, yeah, he did raise six deuce earlier. Yep. Good point. Okay. Danny opens button. Okay. Now we're getting live poker advice from Joe Batterman. Guy runs deep in one tournament. You know these internet kids. They think they know it all. Just because they can prove it to me in a solver. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Harrington, thanks for joining. Welcome to the stream. TK going to step out a little bit here with the queen nine. It's going to get through, I think. Although we do know Danny likes these type of hands. Does he want to see a flop? We're quite deep enough, right? He's, Danny's on 20, 22 bigs. Yeah, he's coming. 
No, he doesn't let he doesn't let him know what he had now. Yeah. Like that play by TK. I guess that's gonna be it for me. Y'all got Jacob coming oh, yeah. back and fix everybody. Yeah, another hour. That's why I had to leave on Saturday in the middle of the yeah, yeah. And then come back. There's Arlie Johnson. Nice we had 10,000 there. Oh, wow. Yeah. How many Sticking it out. About that much. Thank you. Blinds are up, guys. Blinds are up. We're at 60. Uh, 60,000 and any 30,000. We have two. He has two. Our yep. lower bowl is like about 10. Oh, okay. Kirk and Jacob are in there. We're in here. He's got to be out there. Are they any good? The other night he worked all day here, left here, and then he went to go commentate the Axman hockey game. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Iceman, good, right? Good. Iceman? I think it's the Iceman. Oh, maybe it's Iceman. Yeah, it probably is. It sounds. It is hockey. What? Axman? Yeah, probably Iceman. I haven't been to a game. I haven't either. He needs to hook us up. He, yeah, he's invited us, so anytime you want to go, I'll go with you. Let's do it. We get the, with the mamas out of the house. Mm -hmm. Send them to watch Lionel Richie or something. Yes. I actually, I, uh, I'm going to go with Arlie to see Foo Fighters at Rockville in May. Wow. We made, we made that plan the other day. I'm excited for that. I'm going to get Arlie drunk. Yeah, I'd love to see. I might get him fired from Best Bet. <laughs> Don't do that. We need him as a great, yeah, tournament. Uh, great uh, tournament director. I'll take the heat. I'll take the heat. <clears throat> Four left here. Guaranteed 36,000, but ultimately playing for the 101,000 up top. Two hundred and sixty runners total paid thirty three spots. <clears throat> Pablo with a queen eight suited. <clears throat> yeah, I wish they would not keep calling it under the gun on the graphics. Throw me off. Four handed, cut off. Danny with uh King Jack suited in the small blind. What do you think about that one there, Eddie? That might have been a rip. 21, 22 bigs, four-handed. That's a lot of hand. I do like a rip. Would have worked. Pro probably does some mixing. Probably going to still win the pot anyway with less risk. I don't know or about less, less risk. After you see a jack high flop, it's easy to say that. Well, that's what I mean. Now, I'm, I'm, I, I think I would have ripped it. That's one of the shorter stacks. I wonder if you can even three bet non all in there and take advantage of these, uh, how they react to three bets. I, I think you can. I don't, I don't know if I would with this hand. Yeah. I think that I think those suited connector hands play better as shoves. I might, I might take an, a weak ace and make the, the non-all-in three bet. Gonna win the pot nonetheless. But he's a, he is the short stack, right? Danny? Mm. 20 yeah. something bigs? Yep. Well, he just, he just scooped a nice one, so he's yeah. kinda out of the danger zone. Over 25, I think. <clears throat> yeah, he's almost okay. got 30. Okay, just completing again. learned his lesson. Flops the best hand. Check. Didn't get the donk this time. 
doesn't know how to react. Yeah, we gotta gotta bet here and protect this five. Not gonna get any better. Except for a three. I guess we got the gutter too. So we're not completely naked. Oh yeah, we would be defending to a raise. I think TK is just gonna let this one go. Yeah, no uh, no club on the board. He's just won every single one, every single yeah. battle they've had. Give, uh, give the guy one. Here, you can have this one. Yeah. With the best hand. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's, that's another good point. You, you don't have to win every pot, right? You don't have to win every pot. Just Can't win every pot. Nobody lets you win every pot. Uh, I've seen you win every pot. Well, there was that one time, but not anymore. They, they fit the books. <laughs> Damn internet. I know. Making me do it too. Sixteen. Danny King, seven suited. Those are the hands he loves. I thought he might even put a little raise in there, but I guess he's still one of the shorter stacks and let it go. Hope for a collision on the other end of the table. That's always uh, part of it. Eric, happy to see a flop with King-7 suited. Flops well. Except this time. A little pair again. Thought he might put a little bet out there to protect it. Check see if he can get Derek to bet at it. Derek's got some backdoor equity. Yeah, pretty good flop for Derek. I see when Pablo checks, but surely we're checking the call here. Although we saw earlier, Danny check raise with a 10-5 and then turn it like he knew it was coming. That's true. That's the skill. No good turn cards for Pablo. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah, it's tough for Derek to try to get a bluff through here. Yeah. He has some showdown. We beat some some of the some of the straight draws. Yeah, I'm expecting us to go check check. <clears throat> Don't love having a seven in our hand. We'd like him to have hands like five, seven, four, yeah. seven. Pablo trying to get a little value out of the six. Yeah, I don't know. What, what the, I don't hate it. Derek's going to check back most of the time. May even look him up. Who knows? I think his king high is good sometimes. Just, just thinking about it. Small bet, mm -hmm. but uh, I think he's going to fold. Just like you said, letting the clock bind, wind down a little bit. And Pablo's the chip leader right now. Yeah, I think he's thinking about hero, and we know Derek's not afraid. How much did he bet? What was it? One, one twenty-five. Yeah. Good fold. Show him again. No, no, he didn't show him. Okay. Thought he had a three, trying to get some thin value from the three. TK, but happy to scoop a pot. Yep. Got 125,000 in it right now, right? So him and Danny are about even with 1.5, so they're they're the two shortest. Still have plenty though. That's still 30 big, right? Over over 20. Not quite 30. They're at 60k big one. Oh right, level one up. Glad they added that. Remember back in the day, they didn't they didn't have the oh, big yeah. button on the graphic. We were never sure, yeah. especially on the delay. You just had to look at the chips. You can see the chips. I can barely see the TV. Yeah, I gotta. 
I'm your guider over here. Like your service dog. Yeah, you could. <laughs> just fly with me and just. Flops 963, Kelly. 963, <laughs> Club Club Diamond. I have seen some guys do that, like we're blind. Oh, yeah. With them. Oh, yeah. That's, that's impressive. Wow, look at the clubs here. Wouldn't you just love to see an all club flop? It's tough. It's going to be real tough. tough. Even two clubs will be interesting. Oh, look over here. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. There's some stuff out there. Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. And they're all sitting on 25-ish uh, big blinds. And they all checked it. Not one of them bet the flush draw. Here goes Danny with the 10-9. Going to try to take it down with a little tiny bet. 60K into 400. Why not? Maybe they got nothing. Maybe they'll all fold. Nope. TK gonna call with the straight draw and the flush draw. Eric clearly going nowhere. Deciding whether to raise it or not, but obviously goes with the call. Now we got a pot brewing. Oh, oh, that could have been so much fun. Everyone wanted a club to see what was going to happen there. Eric made the best hand on the river with the queen. TK stuck with five high. Had, yeah, he had the best hand the whole way. Somehow he held. Let's see, I don't think we can bluff now. But we did consider it. Maybe he takes his time no matter what. Yeah. They're all like, wow. I think the club didn't come off. <laughs> That's another another run good by Danny and maybe TK. TK's probably not going to go broke there with the five high flush, but Danny might with a ten high flush. I don't know if I've even seen that at a live stream table where three players in the pot all have the suit and then two of them come out. Yeah. That was cool. Hard to do. Small pot. They all played their flush draws as slow as they could, too. Pretty much. Yeah. Danny tried to step out, but then he got called in two spots and he shut it down with the quick. Yeah. Tens. There's a lot of pairs here. All of a sudden. Earl says, tell Jacob he's fired. Right. He needed a club on that river. Wow. Top set here. Pablo with not much. Ooh, now he has more. Interesting. Flop was a quick check check, it looks like. Pablo's thinking about leading this turn. It is a straight draw, can't blame him. Yeah. I mean, our opponent shouldn't have jack eight, eight six. 175, so about half a pot. We're just going to slow down and give him some rope. Keep taking down these pots, Slim Thug, a.k.a. Derek Bowers. This is, uh, what do you do here? Do you put in a raise here? Yeah, I like the raise. Too much stuff. Make yeah, me, make a lot of bad, a lot of bad turn cards. Even if, even if they don't have it, it can kill your action. If he's got a right? set of deuces, I want to get the money in too. You know, if he's got nine seven, ten seven, just ten calls. ten nine. I want, I want to get the money in. Just calls. A lot of bad cards. Yeah, a lot of bad cards. That's not one of them. It's a great one. One of the best ones. Unfortunately, now, for uh, for 
Danny Pablo has doesn't have a ton of reason to bluff. No, turn turn just a little bit of equity. Although yeah. you you could see him turning that into a bluff if he if he thought. Uh, yeah, Danny I like had a, had I like a, a, I like a, a little, pair a little check that. a little check raise actually is pretty nasty. Ooh, if, going, for, going for a big one here. If Danny would have bet small, it's a pretty sweet hand to check raise, but not when he bets big like this. You can't do nothing. No. Oh, that's what you can do. But you are blocking it straight with the eight. Oh, oh look at him up. bottom pair. He's thinking he missed some kind of draw. Yeah. Arch, clean jack or something. Yeah. Okay, that's a big momentum change right there. Yeah, it sure is. That gets them all big pop kind of back. Kind of back to the middle. That's going to leave TK as our shorty now, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get some more. That's a big pot. Yeah, it was. Caught pretty quickly, too. Yeah, he did. Wanting to hero up. Yeah, He's done it two or three times. This is the first one worked. The last three have not. Pablo's all the way down in third now, although first, second, and third all have the same. So they're all pretty much sitting on 35. TK's got 20. All right, this is going to be fun. Pablo, I need another five. Strap in. And there's the payouts on the screen. Way to go, country. value bet here. 100,000 wouldn't be bad. A little big. Derek's thinking about it. The draws missed. Super thin earlier, or without six earlier. He, so he's, he's actually does beat a little value bet. With five, six, and five, three. Like he's thinking about it. <coughs> he's thought about it in these spots and actually made the correct lay down several times tonight. He's yep. going to do it again. Yep. Well played, sir. Not, I, not coming off any chips. I think I might have gone a little smaller there. Uh, for that reason, exactly. Try to get called by worse. Easy to say after we see him pull, but. It's going to be um, happy to see the result. After. Yeah, nice pull yeah. there. He's, he's made some, he's been spot on with his reads and his, and his logic. Uh-oh. 
before Jaxer is out. Coming along, you can hit it. Number 10, interesting card. Danny goes to the bluff. He is. There, got him. The, club, the clubs are out there. Middle pair, tur middle uh, pair pairs. Now you don't love it with with one pair here, but you're gonna can't pull top pair. Four-handed. Nice call, Derek. Spot on. And I don't and I don't mind the bluff by Danny. <coughs> He got the king of clubs. He's got a lot of pins in his range. It's a fine bluff. Didn't work, but it's a fine bluff. I did. The problem with it is, it's well. Yeah, you only live about thirty minutes. Yeah. Close enough where you were playing. If you get in the fold, all his on a sex. Folding no a sex though. Yeah, I mean, Derek's not. There was a couple there that might have. Minute ago, but um, true. Some people may. And, you know, some of these guys don't don't know the other guys they're playing against, as well as that's true. Know. That's true. All I know is it's taking me a very long time to eat this salad. Yeah, no, we're, we're going in increments. We're both getting like 30 second pauses <laughs> every four minutes. I'm Je trying not to smack on the camera. Jesse Hollander, the big the boss man in the chat. Welcome to the stream, sir. There he is. Game on. Game on. We got a four handed game here. And Queens against Sevens. TK with 20 bigs in the big line after a ray. Oh, Derek, three bet. Yeah, this is an yeah. easy Pop, fold. Yeah, Pablo open, Derek, three bet. Easy fold. Just taking his time as he always does. Primo. 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 TK said, if you had an open, I might have gone broke. Derek opens, yeah. TK ships in the sevens. You know what? That's, that's another part of the run good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little subtle thing yeah. like guy, that. Guy opening the king eight suited. Some people some some people just fold it and yep. boom. Just like that, we'd be down to three. Yep. TK running good. Funny how the best players seem to run good like that. Well, you see, the best players let everyone know when they're running good, so it's on their mind at all times. That's what they do. And they don't deny it when people say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure do. That's yep. right. That's right. Let me tell you, everybody runs terrible. Yeah. Everybody gets hit out on all the time, especially good players, because they always have the best hand. So anytime they lose, they're getting hit out on mostly. That's how it works. Yep. But it's hard to convince people of that when they see the same people going over and over to the winner's circle. They think, oh, that guy must run really good. Eh, he probably plays pretty damn good, you know? Clearly. He probably just plays really good. <laughs> Cutty back in the chat. The towel, TK. <laughs> Tau of TK. Induce that bluff. Speaking of Tau, I gotta get back to Vegas. Won't be long. Won't be long. Uh -oh. Derek with a hand in the big blind. You could put him in here. Yeah, I was just thinking that. If this is good enough to I think it is. a button, I think button it, raise. I think it is. You think if he does, TK calls it off? Oh, no. Yep. It's an easy fold for TK.
Speaking on 15 big lines ish, 15, 16. Yeah. North of 15. Well, he, he knows how wide Derek will be doing this. But I think he did. He oh, called. He did call. Nice call. Let's see what happens. It's a big call. Yeah. He's hoping he's going to look at like an H3 suited or something. Good. Yeah, this is one of the worst hands he can make. Big flip. Uh oh. There's the king. TK need an ace to stay alive here. Oh, oh. now it's over. Wow. Unlucky. A full house for Derek. TK is going to finish in fourth place. Going to take home $36,714 for his effort. I would say congrats, but I know he's leaving upset because oh, yeah. this is like the worst finish he's had in his last five trips here. Yeah, I'm just expecting to see him heads up. But as always, very well played, TK. Yeah, very much deserved. Some signatures. I gotta pay you too, right? Well, I can, I, I can assure you the rest of the guys are breathing a sigh of relief. That Mr. Miles has left the building. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now Danny has 27 bigs, Pablo with 33, and Derek commanding 69, over 4 million in chips. Yeah, that's not the guy they wanted to see the chips go to. Whoever won that pot, they were not going to be happy yeah, with Yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> but they are happy to see the guy go bust so they get the ladder. Everyone guaranteed $49,513 now. I think that is going to be uh, career paydays for Pablo and Danny. Derek has had big scores get before. He actually... Had the World Series of Poker final table under his belt. I think he got like sixth or fifth years ago. I forget exactly what tournament it was. Yeah, the Derby Duster in the chat says, Watch out, boys and girls. Derek's about to wear these guys down. Yep, that's what we expect yeah, to see. I think the Derby Duster might be on to something. We're going to see. We're gonna see him leaning, that's for sure. And neither one of those guys wants to bust third, which yeah. is gonna make it even easier for him to, to lean yeah. on them. This is what you do, you try to you try to just notch them both down. Right now they both have 30, boom, notch them down to where they both have 20, boom, notch them down to where they both have 10. You really just give yourself the best opportunity to take this thing down. Shootout final table, oh, it was a shootout, very nice. That's what I final table. I wish I would have overslept like he did. Yeah, he did show up. But I wasn't going to tell that story, but I'm going to blame it on Derby Duster for putting in the chat. Derek uh, makes the final table of the shootout. Now, when you make that final table, it's like middle of the day, so you have the whole night and day to do whatever. The final, yeah, the, the final table is not till the next day. Yep. <clears throat> so he, he went out, gambled, and did Vegas, you yep. know. As people do in Vegas. Sure. Went hard all night long. I turn on his uh, final table the next the next morning to you know to sweat him, see how he's doing. Chair's empty. Oh boy. Give him a call. I'm like, what are you doing? Your your final table has already started. He's like, yeah, I know. I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some reads. Uh, yeah, he's like, I, I feel terrible. I'm not not ready to go down there yet. That's awesome. Well, he stayed in bed for a little bit, not even sleeping, just. Just Watch relaxing. He, he was doing research. Yeah. And actually made a couple ladders. Like I said, ended up, when he got down there, I think there was two players had busted. And he, uh, he ended up getting like fifth or something like that. So. Sometimes I play better when I'm out there to yeah. pop my chips off. Maybe, uh, maybe he had to get fifth. From uh, Maybe a little birdie told me that if he didn't get fifth, he, I understand. He would, he would have been stuck from that night before. I understand. Now it's becoming clear. <laughs> That's a legendary story, by, by the way, right there. It's one of my favorites. How long ago was this? Sure. Recently? Uh, no, this was years ago now. In his younger days. Speaking of shootout final tables, didn't you make the shootout final table? Yeah. This year? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I wish I would have 
slept in, I would have did, done yeah. better. Did you get set over set or something? What happened out there? Yeah, set over set. That's it. Wow. Set of queens over, lose to a set of aces. Sure. So if I remember correctly, you play you play a single table, you win, you go to a next table, yep. you win that, you're at the final table. Yep. It's a ten-handed, ten-handed sit and go. You win that, you make the money, and you play another one. If you win that one, okay. you make so the final you, table. You did that and ran set over set. Yep. Into set. Yep. Queens, wasn't it? Faraz Jocko won it, yeah. Did he have the aces or king? No. Over? No, he didn't have the, he didn't set over set me. Huh? Damn. All right. Next time I get a bad beat, I'm going to feel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to channel that one and feel better about myself. I had to win some hands to get there, you know, it's all, it's all the same. Sure. On to the next. As long as I win a real big one one day, who cares? That's the hope we hang on to. On to the next one. Seems like a racket might actually take about some stacks of Uh, the, the other part of this tournament poker, when you get down here short-handed like this, three-handed, the experienced professionals have been in this spot a lot. Yeah. The average recreational player is almost never here, and when they get here, everybody's begging to chop it, right? So your your two, three, four-handed play is usually not. Let's call it suboptimal. You're right. Oh yeah, and like this, of course, like you said, the the. If you're not a professional tournament player, you don't have a lot of forehanded under your belt, period, right. you know. Um, and if you Absolutely. do, like you said, a lot of times it's chopped with amateurs three or four or five ways. Or nine ways. Okay. And an opening and all in here from Pablo. Danny's going to have to fold his ace five. Just saw what happened to TK when he looked him up with the ace eight. I was a little surprised to see TK call off there, but I understand why he did it. He yeah, and especially to Derek. Right. Like oh, if you're, I mean. like he's the guy to call off too because Derek's the guy who could have the ten jack suited. He could sure. have the ace five suited. You yeah, know, he's, he's probably snap folded into these other two guys. If yeah, he's in the same spot. But there is something to be said for his edge that he has. Yes, that's where I was on going the other that. two guys, even that's at 15 big. That's where I was going with that. I was, I was, I was surprised that he took that spot. But then again, I mean, he had the best hand when he put it in there. And yeah, if, he, real big. if he holds, now he's close to the chip leader, and, it's a, and he's playing to win. So. And there's times where he could have way the best hand, you know, and really give himself a shot to win. Well, that's probably more his thinking, you know. Yeah. Oh, big one here for Derek, small blind. It's going to limp in, try to induce. Where's Joe B at? You only do it when you know the queen's coming. Yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the best time to do it, that's for sure. Yeah, I like it. Let's check all the way down. You you missed a lot of value. Let's see if somehow Danny ran into an ace. He's going to call off with all of his ace -ex. Danny fans showing up in the chat. Get him, DW. Six suited here for Derek. Gonna raise it up. One thirty-five going a little, a little bigger than two X. Oh, 
see a flop with <clears throat> eight seven. Off a straight draw. There's got top pair. You like a check raise here at all by, by Pablo ever? The bottom end of the straight? Or just too much equity. Yeah, uh, it's scary on these boards because you got a sucker straight anyhow. Yeah. You're not getting king queens to fold, so like you do it, build the pot, jack comes. Now what? Uh, you know, I like to have clean outs. It's about as bricky as they get. Kind of a wet board. Two flush draws now. Probably going to bet here a little bit to protect. Might be his last chance to get any value. Let's see what size he goes with. 300. Yeah. 60% pot here. <coughs> Charge all the draws. I like the size. May have gone even bigger. Was cutting out a cutting out a call here. Thinking he's, about it anyway. I think he's counting his stack down to see how much it's going to cost him. Don't let it go. I like the fold. Yeah, me too. And that's the reason we bet a little bigger, right? We put a little bet out there. We we, we let all those. I think Derek showed him my ace too. We, we, let, we let all those draws come along if we don't bet enough. Yeah. JL Cascone in the chat says, let's go Derek. So many good Derek stories. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ace five on the button here for Danny. Rafael Diaz in the chat, Gastonia representative. Let's go Danny Wilson. Flopping a piece. <coughs> Both players from backdoor flush draws. Betting out bottom pair in the back door. I like that. Derek's surely going to be seeing a turn. They're going to take it down. River goes check, check. Three sacks. Danny was at, Danny started at my first table on Saturday, and it was actually the guy I got the triple barrel through on for half of the stack. Here, here he is at the final table and all over rail. He ran it back up, didn't he? Well, he actually rebought it back up, but another story. Who's count? Who's count? Chip leader keeps winning pots here. Check. 
Wow, how's that for a flop, Danny? Just flop at all. Too bad Derek doesn't have anything. Nothing. Going for two streets of checking. Okay. Hundred. Hey, can be good here sometimes, but I think Derek will get away from it. Yeah, the way he flicked it in, it feels like it's always a hand, right? I didn't even think about it. Maybe think, maybe I do need to buff this, whatever I have. Right, right. And and those, those are those timing tails we were talking about. I actually think uh, Pablo's got a lot of that going on. Yeah, a long time. Great football player from Gastonia. Cole Bean. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Probably the best football player I ever played with. And he didn't go to the league. And I played with players that did go to the league. This guy was a monster. O lineman. Wow. Monster. Huge. He's the biggest person I ever seen when I saw him. <laughs> I come in as a freshman. I thought I was big. Yeah. He showed you what big was about? Yeah, he did. And he was strong. Didn't even have much fat on him at all. Yeah. We can, we can get to go another just small bet, a third or smaller. Yeah, lean on him. Yep. Loving it. Yeah. Grinding him down. Win every pot for a while. Yeah. Every small pot do. until somebody picks up a big one and then they push back and we get away from it. Are you traveling with the thing? No, I never travel. You never travel? No. I got to do with this guy. <laughs> Too much to do here to travel. So that's the fun job though, right? Yeah. Have you already done the All-Star game? I just did. Did you? It was two weeks ago. In Savannah. That's worth a raise. Yeah, three-handed, we got to widen up a little bit. <clears throat> if we play this pot and lose, Danny's going to be sub-20. Keep an eye on Nope, he's going to win this one. I'm good. Uh, no, thank you. I ain't got no money left. Can't buy it. He'll be all right. That's for a line of, line of credit. Line of credit. <laughs> Interest me or that? Well, Danny, you're going to have at least 50000 in a few minutes. Yep. You can get a copy here. Spent his last two K on them both in this. Right. Oh no, you said he busted. He spent his last four K on two bullets to this. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he rebought the same seat. I had a couple of, two or three guys did that at my table. Kept yeah. busting and buying the same exact seat. A couple of them I wish he didn't. Alright, foot on the gas here. No more limping, we're going for it. Yeah. It'll make you have a hand. Uh oh, that's a hand. That is a hand. That should be a all of it hand. Let's see if he does it if he plays conservative and just calls here. Not wanting to give up that. Well, he does there go you go. Out of boy, Danny. There's just no good flops for fives, right? Every you hate all of them. The don have a five in them. It's really more about how, what we get to fold. Like we get so many flips to fold out of this and that, that's where we're getting our EV. If that's where we're winning right now with hands that have a ton of equity against us. Yep. Derek acting like he's got a decision. He just wants them to know, I'm going to think about it every time, guys. You might not want to do that to me. I got a tough decision here, you know. but I'm going to let you have this one. It's just... But not next time. A little subconscious thing, too. Oh, that. 
the other person doesn't even realize, but feels uneasy for that whole 45 seconds and then remembers that next time subconsciously. Yeah, didn't like that feeling, so I'm not going to do that. Picking up some hands all of a sudden. Ace nine suited. What do you make it? One thirty. One thirty. Pablo King Queen. Okay, what happens here? I wouldn't have minded a jam there either. Just gonna call. The King Queen three handed is a lot of hands. It is indeed. And you know, in that spot, this you jam, you might have got called, you might have you, you might have doubled. Ace nine suited is a lot of hands. That would have been that would have been interesting to see what Danny would have done. It's a tough spot right there. Twenty bigs, ace nine suited. Just gonna follow it up with continuation bet. These players ranges. What we do here, we just call. Yeah, yeah it feels pretty safe. Another one, another brick. I expect Danny will be given up now. Hoping he can get there to the river with the ace, and that's good somehow. Oh, Pablo getting a little sneaky. Check, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Back. I'd be betting there. I didn't do some bluff out of Danny to check back. That clearly was what it was designed to do. Yep, Danny looking at the chips. Tough one to bluff with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Check. He's got ace high. Ace high is good here a lot, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, now, we have now, jack 10 in range that we can now, bluff now with. Now, you know. get any value. We got jack 10, jack 9, 9, 7. We got some hands in range that need to bluff. We go small here, try to get paid. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, I'd go chunky too. I like his, I like his size. Because we gave up that street of value on the turn, so we need to make up for it on the river. That's how I like to think of it. Anytime we deceptively give up, give up a street of value, we got to try to make it way. What make, would you, what would you bet on the turn? How big? Just like half. Not, nothing crazy, just like half. But I just want to charge anything with a five or seven in it now, you yeah. know. Or if he had a hand like seven eight, you know, it's like okay, well we got to let's get paid five eight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he wouldn't have five eight, but we know he likes to open those suited connectors. Sold jacks. Yeah, man. Sold jacks. Trust me, folded checks. <laughs> <laughs> when, we, when we got the stream, <laughs> whole, whole cards up. This goes to show you never believe any table talk. Again, we don't see a lot of this, I think. Complete by Pablo. Same exact hand by Derek. So I like to see sometimes when they have the same hand. See who, who wants to take it. This is a good one. This is a good one for a little, little bet in there with. Going for it. Right. I like it. I like it. Get a lot of better hands to fold. And sometimes the same hand to fold. Very nice. Yeah, and I think that's more of a chip position thing than like a combination, like what his cards are. It's like, no, I'm probably going to do this with like 80, 90% here. Everything. Don't have a lot of checkbacks. 
Yeah, they're trying to play small pots. We're trying to play bigger pots. And look how quick he just like snap folds. It's like yeah. he's done that like three or four times. If I see that, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep letting him do it. Yeah. Pablo really needs to to limp with a big one and limp jam like TK did to him. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's got he's got nothing in those spots. He's had, he's had limp folds every time, really. Well, maybe one time he did call with something, but a complete breaker. Fold of the flop. I'm sure, Danny's gonna see this flop with. King five suited. <laughs> Look at this flop. Luckily for Pablo, he got none of it. None of it. Nice little, nice little flat call. Franny hits an ace. Check, check. Yeah, I don't think Pablo's going to put any more chips in. How big Danny goes. Oh, well, too big. See how quick that was, too? It didn't even really count the chips out. Like, how's it going to be a bluff if you're not putting all that thought into it? Right. It ain't. Because it didn't need that much thought. Because you know it was good. Because it was the noose. Well, some people are reckless like that with their bluffs, but he hasn't shown to be, you know. Right. He's shown to think. Yeah, think strategically. Not. Wait. Be... Be more detailed, not just grab off the top of the stack and throw in there. Mama Slay says she's watching from the elliptical machine. Getting her exercise in. Staying in good shape. That's how she does it. Keeping it high and tight. You run a tight ship over there, sir. Yeah, I do. Got her taking care of the grandbaby and staying in shape hey. for you. Dinner's going to be on the table when you get home. Bath's going to be drawn. <laughs> Her dinner and her bath. Yeah, yeah. She's going to tell you, you can order pizza. She knows I had a salad here I with you. I've already Took ate. me an hour and a half to eat it, but we had a salad. That's true. You had the sushi. Thank you, Best Bet. Food's always good here. Oh, yeah, they treat us right. And we'll work for sushi. And a grilled chicken salad. Pablo down to 20 bigs now. They're climbing. There's a little little recap for everybody. There's someone screen right now. Richard was first out, and Wayne and Ray before I got here. Sorry, I was late, guys. I saw the rest of it with Dustin and Alan and TK. Leaving a little sooner than I thought he might. The country's always on his game, isn't he? You just think about something needs to be on the screen, and bam, there it is. Yeah, you don't think he's even in the room. In the right. Room. It just shows up. Queen Deuce here, okay. Getting after it. It's going to work. Danny, Danny uh, getting a little aggressive here, uh, stepping out a little bit, which I'm happy to see. I mean, he, I think he needs to be, right? Cause we, we know Pablo's being a little careful, and especially if, if, if he finds a spot where Derek's out of the pot already. Yep. Let's, uh, let's, let's get busy. If you got a player who's being careful, let him be careful. Yeah. Just give him every opportunity. James Brown showing some love in the chat. Appreciate you, JB. Look at JB. JB uh, got a bad beat in a tournament with me this week. I forget what it was, but he was right, right near the bubble and... Interesting spot here for Derek. Also got a player behind. Pablo open jams 20, maybe 19 ish. He's going to get it through. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I 
It's a big pot. If he opens, Derek might put the three bet in, and I don't know off 20 what uh, Pablo would, would do right there. So could have won a pot where played other otherwise may not have. Well, <clears throat> both Danny and Pablo are hoping the other gets in a big pot with Derek, right? Oh, yeah. And, and uh, so when Derek's not in the pot, which is going to be rare, three-handed, um, they got to go after each other, try to get a little bit of a chip lead. Danny's, but that one Danny, was, that Danny, was open jam. Danny still has 30 big blinds. That was open jam on the button, so he was. Pablo has 20. Both in there. That was, that was kind of risky. Yeah. Got it through. Oh, yeah. Pretty Pablo's good. on 20 big blinds, and Danny's on 30. Hand. Pretty good hand to do it with. When you want to see all five, and you don't want to put chips out there and fold. Yes. Interesting card. Straight draw for Pablo. Nobody has a club. He's going to bet his... He's going to bet his straight draw. His queen. Derek has bottom pair. No club in his hand. Studying him. See if he thinks this is legitimate or not. Yeah, I like Gets away from it. We really can't yeah. improve. Right. We hit it off suit six. Could be drawn dead already. Yeah. Line's going up. Not yet. Yeah, they got to be getting close to a break. Three minutes till break. See if we can squeeze in a couple more hands here. Danny picking up another one on the button. So he's got 30 big blinds. And uh, Pablo has about 20-ish. Derek with a fairly commanding chip lead here. Yeah, Derek. There's, was a, there's not there's not 80. quite there's not quite eight million chips in play for you guys keeping score at home. Raise and take for Danny. What's first pay? First pay is one hundred and one thousand dollars. Three left. Third's going to take forty nine. Second's going to get sixty seven. Look at there, country on it again. Boom. There's your payouts. You just think it, and it shows up. Eric with the king five, we're going to complete. Yep. What do you do with this a6 here? You put in a race here with the a6? Yeah, I like to. Most likely got the best hand. Sometimes they're. I like to try trapping. to get, get this over with. Yeah, just don't give them a chance to flop something, right? I'll flop you. I'll check back in ace two or ace three. I don't mind just. Being done with it here, winning it. I got to work on my blind versus and blind Derek, play. And this is a spot where too, it's like I'm not. I shouldn't be doing it a lot because I'm. I am kind of in a trying to t keep my chips above the third place guy. So when I do it, it should like the small blind should play very honest against it. I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think this is going to be the last hand. Six three suited. Maybe we flop something. He's in there. Uh oh. Crazy daisy. Yeah, I just I just make it three point five. I'm trying to give you a little action. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Got time for another. Price of poker is going up. When we come back, it's going to be 80K big blind. That's going to leave Pablo hovering around the 15 big blind. It's a pretty significant jump, too, if you think about it, from 60 to 80. It's a, 
a nice little increase in the blinds for their stacks. They went from coming from 30 and 20 big blinds to 80. Yeah, Pablo's going to have a little under 20, so he's still he's still he's still doing okay. All right, well we'll be back in 15 minutes. See uh, how we finish this thing off. This spring, WPT is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages ship for the ultimate adults-only luxury cruise experience. Featuring a WPT championship with a $1 million guarantee. When you're competing on the felt, enjoy world-class eateries, pickleball and golf in Grand Cayman and an epic pool party in the Bahamas. The Sexton Cup is heading out to see you could become the next WPT champion. Book your adventure today at WPTVoyage.com. Explaining complex topics can be challenging. 
Highlight the text you want to simplify and let Grammarly rewrite it. Grammarly makes your message clear so it's understood. Download it for free at Grammarly.com. Begin!
80,000 small wine, 80,000 big wine. Okay, you heard Arlie in the background, tournament director extraordinaire, saying 40,000, 80,000, 80,000, and he said 200,000 laying out there. Every hand. I swore to do it. That's right, three left, playing for 101,000 up top. This is the old man of the beard. I'm Eddie Marskowski. That's Kelly Slay, big country on the ones and twos. We're going to see how this baby finishes out. And they've already locked up almost 50K. So it's a good day for all of them, but they're trying to get 50 more. It's not on, That's right. so. And I think for a couple of them, this is going to be their high score. Probably not for Derek, of course, but um, he's fairly a pretty pretty accomplished player for those of you tuning in late. He's outlasted a, a pretty stacked final table. Derek is one of the great pickleball players of our time, says Apex Hiking. Okay, I'd like to see it. I think he's having a little trouble with his back, so. Yeah, it's kind of that's tough. You need the back. Here we go, Jack Jack nine. Derek gonna bet right out with his with his ten. Couple back doors. See if he can get Danny to lay down the ace. Unlikely. The back door flush. Yep, face of club still there, Danny. <laughs> okay. King on the turn, nobody raised pre flop. Betting out as ace high, it's gonna get through, betting with the best hand. <laughs> Especially three-handed, you just kinda gotta get in there and fight for pots with hands that you normally uh, wouldn't, wouldn't have in your range, and that's, that's why I was said earlier, short-handed really favors the experienced players. Yep. They've been in the spot a lot. Maybe maybe you've been playing shorthanded some cash, you know, bigger cash games as well, where most recreational players are always full yeah. ring for the most part. Yeah, you're right. Fortune favors the fighters. That's a true story. in here um, <clears throat> as I said about not quite eight million chips in play so when you see the numbers pop the chip stacks pop up there you can figure out what percentage of the total chips in play that each of them have Derek with half which is really where I was going with that so he's got a pretty significant lead over the other two the other two he's hoping that they'll clash Actually, he's probably hoping that they won't clash and he can keep grinding them down. Yeah, he would like to, to do all the clashing or be a part of all the clashing himself. So when he does get heads up, he can have a substantial chip lead. He don't because mind He don't mind not playing big pots and just, yeah. like I said, just kind of... Let the blinds catch him even. Yeah, just chip, chipping away. You get the, like when we started their average stack, his two opponents' average stack was 30. Now it's probably... 22 or you know or like this. so as long as it keeps going down less than 20 fine. now uh and then you see pablo check back that king on the on the flop bets it on the turn after uh derek hit the second pair might get paid again here if he can squeeze off a bet definitely gotta give it a go this would be another great fold if derek found it no, we just don't want to go too big here because we want to get called by worse. He went 300 and 350, pretty large. In the 450. Oh, in the 450, okay. Still, chunky yeah. bet. Yeah, two thirds. I mean, Derek got a bluff catcher, really. 
I don't know, would he do this with a 9-10? Is there, is, am I beating any value? or is this no, a I, don't think, I, don't think I don't think we're beating any value. I, I, think, I think we're beating busted flush draws. We don't, have a, we don't have a heart in our hand, so that helps us. But um, He's going to fold it again. As I said, Pablo didn't bet the flop. You expected him to bet, to bet the flop with his, with his flush draws, right? Some of his draws. He's going to make another great fold. Yeah, I think he is. I, I think he's got him exactly on the king. Or possibly a better 10. But I, I, don't, I don't see Pablo making this size bet with a worse 10. Do you? That's the question Derek's asking himself, I think. He ran into a 9, 10, 7, 10. Is he betting for value? Because we saw him go thin for value earlier. That, that's the only problem. We know he's capable. He's going to fold it. Love yep. it. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to because he knows he's pretty high up in his range. But I just don't think he thinks Pablo's got enough bluffs in him, um, you know, to be to be balanced. I think he's going to be very value heavy here. And I think I think Derek thinks that. Yeah. Well, and I think you're right. Like we haven't really seen Pablo get out of line with too many bluffs like this. Like his 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 pots have been from nice value bets. Nice fold, Derek. Great fold. Three handed. What a fold. He didn't like it. Solver's going to call. Oh, yeah. Derek beat the solver. That's, that's why it took him so long. Yep. He knows he's he, he, Because he, he knows he's high, high up. He's supposed to call. He's, he's, gonna, he's not going to fold that against TK. Yeah, he might. He might. I shouldn't say it that way. But my point is a player that is more capable of bluffs, he has a harder decision. That's a, that's a better way of saying it. Yeah. Five off on the button. Any ace three handed is pretty pretty strong. Great fold there from Derek. Yeah, I, that's that's at least three or four that I've seen since I got here. I got here late. Sorry for leaving you hanging there for the first. You know what? Hours. I I was able to man the ship. Yeah, I knew you could handle it. I didn't want you to go stir crazy in here. Yeah, cabin fever. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, they had a lot of stuff going on in that first hour with the with the technical stuff. So I was. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to the chat. I was kind of looking forward to seeing Ray play some poker, too. Yeah. I like watching Ray play. You never know what he's going to do. Never. We never. He never got to really get it going. No. I was busy. Uh, busy working on my other job, as I said. I'll tell you about that in one second after we see this massive pot. Can we get a shout out from the announcers? Pablo's inspiration for playing poker, Tyler Jensen. There you go. Okay. Without Tyler Jensen, there is no Pablo in poker. How about that? Interesting card here. Jack of Diamonds pops off. They both have a diamond. They both got some draws. Both with a flush draw. Danny's got the straight draw to go with it. Little does he know a diamond's going to be really bad for him. Pablo just calls. I like it. Oh. I get another little little run good for Danny right there. Interesting. The question is, does he keep betting at it? Yeah, who, who's going to win this one? Danny bet? He's going for it. Yes, he is. He didn't come here to check rivers. Small bet, 175. I think it's going to work. Wow. I think it's going to work. Nice play, Danny. Well, well played. Very nice. Anyway, what I was going to say was, shameless plug, um, we're building a hotel downtown Jacksonville, uh, home two suites by Hilton, just over the I-95 bridge. Get off the of Park Street right there in Brooklyn, Riverside. Hopefully some of you guys will give us some business opening in March. Come see me. Oh, yeah, all the uh, travelers. Coming down here, get you a nice place to stay. Also, we're going to have uh, Players Grill. It's going to be our sports bar connected to the hotel, which most home two suites do not have food and beverage. We're going to have a great sports bar there. Very nice. I'll have to come check that out. Yeah. Lots of TVs, good food. Come see us. I'll let them know the tab's on you. Yeah, sure. 
You better put it that with Mama Slay first. Put it on Kelly's tab. You better, you better put that on Mama Slay's tab. No, no, I'll, I gotta leave that. You gotta talk to her about that. She's too scary for me. <laughs> Simple man in the chat. Can I rewind? Well played, sir. Congratulations. Yes, you sir. Nice run. Fun to watch, and, I, and your chat honestly made made that uh, whole first hour a lot of fun for me. And congrats on the album drop. I hope it crushes. Again, and, and everybody, go, 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 go get that album called uh, Grindstone, Simple Man. Find it on Spotify. Download it. Give him a listen. He just, he just final tabled this tournament. His album just dropped today. Here we go. Danny with pocket nines. Yeah, Simple didn't want to cut you off, but Danny's got nines on the button. We got a hand all of a sudden. And I know that you, uh, I heard that you won that high hand ticket to the satellite and turned that into a little over 20,000. So well done, buddy. Yeah, how cool is that? High hand way to get in. Make uh oh, it a pop blow with sixes. Oh, and there's a pop brewing. What is that? Tw uh, 20 bigs? He's all in. Yeah, yeah. I would absolutely put sixes in. It's bad timing for, really bad timing for Pablo. Yeah, he's going to get called. Oh, sure. Danny, this hand just played itself. That's just bad luck for Pablo. So Danny's at risk here with the nines. No. Excuse me. Pablo's at risk Pablo's here with the sixes. Danny would be left with 785 if somehow he lost. Oh, faded Ooh, the flop. good flop for the nines. Pablo needs a six, six alone. Oh, there it is. There's the six. Oh, man. And you guys thought it only happened online. <laughs> there it is. Bam. Two outer on the river. Oof. Six a, on the river. That's uh, possibly a $20,000 card on the river. Darren, that's cost Danny 17K right there. Yep, at least. 18K. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Derek's laughing. <laughs> okay, so Danny is going to be left with 785. That's a little less than 10 big blinds. Yeah, that's a bru that, that one's brutal. Come all this way. just to You know, like we talked about it before, everybody gets those throughout the entire tournament. But when you get them in the big spots, they, they, they sting just a little bit longer. But you know what's weird is you don't realize... That's the best time, because that means it didn't happen earlier. At least yeah, you got there to make right. that cash. That's right. You know where it happened to me? Day one. Yeah. Queens versus Nines. Yes. Right after dinner break. Yes. 200K pot. Thanks for playing. Yeah. See you later. You say see you later here, you get a nice check. Yeah, that's right. But you got a nice buffet out of it. That was before. I ate, I ate the buffet beforehand. <laughs> Uh, live poker is rigged. That's a shame. Shane, yeah, true story. Seems that way some days. They just reach in the deck and pull out the one they need some days. Back to work. And he's still got 10 big blinds. Hey, that's, we can see that spun up in no time. Uh, Kelly won the ladies was like came to the final table with five big blinds when they yeah, were nine-handed right yeah, came back and one heads up she was in a huge chip de deficit against regina and came back i didn't see the end of it but i, I know she was yep. out chipped through four five to one. Oh, we've seen it a hundred times anything can happen you get heads up with with chips then and you're you know you still got a fade to you always got a shot to win yeah if you got the big stack you still got a fade a couple of doubles in it, and the, the lead just It's hard to close swaps. them out, too. Look at Derek picking up Ace King. These are some big hands, three handed. At least we got something to talk about. Sometimes they're just picking up nine four. Robbie Gunn says that was hard to watch. Yeah, that's loser. You always feel for the player. You, it's because you know what they're going through. Turned around, shook his head, tried to walk it off. Yeah, they're tough, and you know, the, the, the better players can just let that go and move on to the next hand. Just know that's part of the variance of the game. You're supposed to lose 18% of the time. That was one of them. It's easy, yep. easy to say, hard to do. Exactly. Well, speaking of Regina, there she is in the chat. Hey, Regina, yes, thanks for is. tuning in. She played very well. She was just ruling that whole tournament. Looked like had a chip lead through the whole thing. I didn't see how it ended, but obviously she got unlucky in some spots. 
I thought she was an absolute lock to win it when I saw her with all those chips in front of her. There we go. Go time for Danny. Uh, Pablo with the seven deuce. Derek with not much. Putting Kirk in, the cooler isn't called the cooler 12, for nothing. 12, 12, right. 12, uh, putting in 12 bigs on the button with Jack nine off. Might be a little steamy. Was it 12 or less yeah. than 10? Well, I 12? saw 985, but maybe that's after he won the pot. Could have oh, okay. been less. No, no, yeah, I think you might be right. Pablo on three million now, thanks to the two outer on the river. Oh, we do a pocket threes here. Raise it up. And a big raise, 200K. Uh oh. Yeah, this is going to end quickly. Any flats? I was just thinking that. Yep. Oh, I love it. There. You could end the tournament right here. If somehow I, big blind wakes up with, with yes. King Queen, you just end the tournament. That's right. I love that play. I pray the guy doesn't have an eight right now, but love it. You don't have to worry about too many eights. Yeah. Especially with two out there. Small bet. Pablo's got to be careful here, um, playing with Derek against the chip leader with, with, a, with a relatively short stack over there. So we want to keep the pot as small as we can right now when you're the guy in the middle. Oh, wow. What a card. Nice check. Let's see if we can get Pablo to go for it again. I think he's probably done with it. But Good card for him to blast, but... Uh uh, I guess there's not a ton you're targeting because you're beating so many hands. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, boy. Derek can't contain himself right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's just going to call. How dirty will the three be? Wouldn't be dirty for Danny. No. He wouldn't mind it. Love the call. Limp along, look like you're disinterested. Ooh, oh, that was close. It was close. That was close. Check to him a third time. I think he's going to give up and beat the flush draws on the river. Yeah, I, I, we, we are pretty sure Pablo's done with the hand, but um, you never know. You just never know. He's been at it twice, and there doesn't have to have anything. Sure looks like he's got something though after he calls the second time, right? I know you're trapping. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's king. I know you're trapping. I'm just hoping it's king, not. Uh, hoping it's king? What? He was trying to get king to fold on the turn, is what he's alluding oh. to. Good luck. Yeah. chips he didn't need to oh yeah and and fell closer to danny right like yeah. you're talking about maintaining that yeah. lead over last is, yeah. is important yeah you want to turn the threes into a bluff you want to have some separation you don't want to be inching towards them hmm. i i think i would have just had to pile this one too yeah two broadways let's see five Looks like uh, that Pablo, boy. Pablo folded anyway. That a boy, Slim Thug. Live poker's rigged. There you hear, see it again? Yeah, it clearly is. Adam Arbuckle says so. Raphael's engaging the sun run for Danny. He's going to need it. He's going to need it right now.
Yes, and you are. Derek, King Nine, small blind. Oh, just put them right on in. Put them all in. Yep. Number five, not good enough. That's going to work. Just grind them down. And even if he doubles, he's still no threat to Derek. In fact, he may prefer it. <laughs> he can grind them, can grind them down even. Yeah, even they get more about each other than. He doesn't. Yeah, he still gets. He gets kind he's of fine with it either way. If, if he if he if he busts him, he's fine. If he doubles him, that's no big deal. Back to work. Yeah. Flesh wound barely, and still has a massive advantage to continue getting them to pull down. Yeah, he's got 60 percent of the chips in play right now. <laughs> Pablo's got a three to one chip lead over Danny, or even more. So he's got to try to get chips from Danny and try not to give any to Derek if he can help it. Got Derek in his big blind every time. Come to handcuff him a little bit. I think we just want to keep pots as small as we can. Derek's going to lean on you, but you just have to let him lean. Interesting here. Just put him in and really put him to the test. That's what I was just thinking. Because he doesn't certainly doesn't want to bust, right? He's going to, there we go. Love it. Love it. Yep, His hand, a hand as strong as King Jack suited. Just got to put it in the muck. Wait for Danny to double or bust. That's what yep. you have to do. That's a good fold by Pablo, even though it's a super strong hand. Just, just can't afford to bust here with Danny sitting there on 10 bigs or whatever it is, not even. Yep, Derek gets to put all the pressure on that. Yeah, you don't really want to open raise into the... I mean, not not, not only down. not only does he does he have only eight hundred thousand, he's got to put two hundred thousand in there every orbit, right? I mean, he's only got a few more hands to go here. Yeah, we're getting. So he's got a. We're going to be seeing. Danny's got to find a hand, to get a double, or he's going to be out of here. Six three ain't going to do it. No. I just need to pick up some hands at this spot. And all from that six on the river, he's probably still over there just steaming about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'd be heads up. Yep. It's hard to let it go. It's hard to let those go. Even though, like you said, he clearly was on the right side of plenty of those for two days. You remember the last one, right? Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Danny all in with an ace. Can't blame him for that. Six, twenty-five. Oh, Pablo lets it go. Gonna, gonna get up to ten big. Yeah, that's, that's a big pickup right there. Yeah, we love to see a fold. Come get you some, boys. Feeling the victory, Derek. Closing in, says Derby Duster. He's a pretty big favorite. He was one of the couple of favorites coming in. and Yeah, I mean, he, he barely lost his chip lead the whole time. He's He's been top two, I think, the entire tournament. Yeah. 
playing very, very well. Very impressive. Mama Slay. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate you. So we know Derek's got the 7-3. We don't know what the flop is, and we don't know what Danny has, but Derek's going to win. Derek getting close to 5 million now. We'd say there's only 8 million in play. I was going to say, it's a, that's going to be a recurring theme. So much out there. The lines come around so fast. You know, back in the day, Dan Harrington had a thing called M that was a multiple. I don't know if people are still using that or not, but it's, it really changes when you're shorthanded, right? Oh yeah. Regina giving us some love. In the chat. Thank you, ma'am. Derby Duster, appreciate you. <laughs> That's accurate. You had to address it, didn't you? <laughs> Look, you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> they don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah? They don't? You don't know how technology works at all, Kelly? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. I kid, I kid. It's okay if you say I'm kidding. I am kidding. Right, exactly. Getting down to over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven hundred. Yeah, it's going to be go time here soon. Got to pick up a hand. Pablo folds the button. Derek limps the small. With four high. Same hand. Danny, Danny with an ace. This will do it. There we go. Oh. Just raised a little. Just tickled it. Same thing. Yeah, I guess. Although if you got a hand like seven eight suited, maybe huh, all right, I'll see a flop. It's twelve big, hey, just one yeah, double. One nice double, especially through Pablo things just flip flop, right? It's a nice pickup, he didn't have he didn't lose his big blind. Yep. That's what we're playing for folks. Hundred and one thousand up there. The dream, 100K main event. Already locked up, nearly 50,000. Nice weekend's work for these guys. Now they can double that in the next few minutes. Danny just picking up the bottom of the deck. 8-3 there, needs a hand in a big way. Now we're talking Ruby, Rudy Randolph. Some good ideas coming from Rudy Randolph over there. Yeah, hey, I got a, I got fed. Yeah, you did. You did get a twelve dollar salad. And I got to hang out with you and watch the stream. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, talk a little uh, poker. I mean, there's some value in that. I think we got better today. Mm -hmm. We always do. We learn something every day. 
don't know what Pablo's going to do with these deuces. He's going to complete against the chip leader. Now he's understanding. Play it slow, Pablo. Yes. Guys over there got nothing. It's going to be dust. all in in an orbit or two. Got dust. Derek put him all in again. Love it. Yeah. He's not going to see a flop. Derek's having, you know, some really good hands to do it too. But I know I, um, I, Pablo's I, getting frustrated. Pablo's but. just going to start open folding. Just here, just here, just take the small. I'm done with it. Take the small. Yeah. I'm done with while, it. While, take the small. While Danny's on the on the short stack, really uh, ought to consider. Although a hand like pocket two might be worth the limp. Maybe not. Or maybe just the raise. You you probably not going to see a flop. If you raise, you might have a better chance. Yeah. Yeah. All in again, King High. Did he move in? Not yet. I don't know exactly how many bigs uh, Danny has. Oh, I think Danny. Okay. I had kings. Oh, I think he folded. He thought it was. He thought it. Derek had already opened. We don't know what Danny had, but that's not that much. Yeah, definitely. And here's a shout out to the guys running the uh, running the controls back here. It's not easy to put all these graphics together, follow the action, get the chip counts right, get the hands right. You guys uh, take all this for granted, but these guys work very hard in here to bring this stream to you guys out there. And uh, good colors all in. Shout out to the boys. Yeah, the dealers too. Kirk and, and Jake really got there. Nice. While they're not in the box, they're working as well. They're getting getting the graphics and the bed sizing right. They got the headphones on. They do a lot more work than we do. We're just sitting back here eating, yeah, eating sushi, eat. talking poker. Yeah, we got the easy we got the easy part. And here we are asking for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Country's like, are you kidding me over there? <laughs> He's hey. text, texting Jesse right now. That's if right. you give them a raise and not me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got me a refill on my drink. He's giving me. Man, you got the refill too. Mm -hmm. Big time. Mm -hmm. Big time. Get on my level, kid. Yeah, that's, that's that's the goal, man. Every day. <laughs> Trying to get oh, there. Oh, look at here. Derek with the Kings, and he's been pushing them around. Yeah, Papa's like, do you have it yeah. every time? You can probably show him. Yeah, I got it. I always got it. Wait on me to go out. <laughs> Don't wait on me to go out, Danny says. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be waiting a while now. You'll be waiting on me now. That's right. I love it. Tell him, Danny. I hope Danny knows he's only got a couple more tra tra laps around the track here. He's gonna have to pick up a hand. Hey, we thought he only had a couple laps a couple laps ago, and here he is. That's true. That's true. You can't count on that six on the river, though. You can't. Although, that's although, for sure. Although he was, he would have had Pablo out of there. Oh, yeah. He, he's the one with the nine, so yeah. he, he really should be playing heads up right now 82% of the time. Yeah. But this is one of the 18%. He found it. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go. King six of clubs against ace queen of hearts. Yeah, that's a fair fight. Yeah. Derek's, Danny's, Derek's, Danny's in the lead. Derek's fine with that. Sure. This might be a $20,000 run out right here. Danny can hold. So far, so good. King or six. So far, so good. Double up. There we go. Now we're back in the game. I'm back. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm right. back. He that, just said, hey, don't be, don't be waiting on me to bust. That's right. I'm back, baby. Now Pablo's like, I thought I was done with you. <laughs> Pablo, not happy about that. No. Derek still will have to chip some play. So. Yeah, he's still going to continue exactly what he was doing. Yep. Try him again can't, next time. He can't, uh, can't open jam quite as much there we go. right now, but he can still dwindle him down and, and do it in just a couple orbits. There you go. Country right on it again. 53, 53 bigs, big, 23 and 20. And uh, right now, Danny and Pablo, one of them needs to double through Derek to make this a, make this a match. Otherwise, Derek's just going to keep leaning on him. And that's what they're playing for right there. Locked up 50,000. Another 18 or so if you finish second, and another 50 for 101,000. Get it, Belmont boys. 
you know, first place, 50 times the buy-in, that's pretty good, right? That's a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets. It'll take you a long time to fire that many bullets. Yeah. 50 bullets. 50 bullets, a lot of bullets. Six months. A lot of bullets. Six months for a net. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, engage the sun run. There you go. There with another ace king. He's picking up some hands. It's nice to pick up some big hands at the final table. I'd like to find out one day. Got to make the final table. True story. I heard a little. It's the last table of the, of the tournament. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I'm not so good at getting past the last two. Yeah, yeah. When the, when the second one's done, they go down to the one. Uh, I'm going to try it next time. I'm going to try to get all the way there. And try not to get there with eight big blocks. Yeah, try to stay a while. Yeah. Hang around a little bit. We keep trying. Long final table. Yeah, but you know it's, that's just a tribute to the to the good structure. Yeah, right? I mean yep. that we had sure. plenty. We didn't have any real super short stacks when we. I mean, you might have when I first got here, but I think everybody had like twenty bigs or so when you started, right? And uh, actually, I think Pablo had like fifteen, but he was the by far the shortest. Yeah, and so the other day, the, the last weekend, you know, there was a bunch of like single digit big blind stacks oh, when they yeah. started the final table. So it's just such a better structure. That's Bet doing a nice job with this tournament series main event. And I don't think there was a guarantee on this, was there? 300K, yeah. It was 300K. And they crushed it as usual, got almost 500,000 in the prize pool. Yeah, 461,000. Always crush the guarantees here. Yes. Whatever they, whatever they guarantee, you can almost always count on at least one and a half times, if not two times. Yep. Depends on what else is going on in the world. Derek wins with a nine, beats the pocket threes of Danny. Belmont boys here with you, Dano. Says Clifford. Shout out to the Belmont boys. You heard Danny just referenced them a minute ago. Been raised to 160. Pablo with 6-5. Trying to see a flop. Pretty good flop for the Queen 3 club. Oh, he checks it over. Pablo done with a hand. Nothing to root for. Although sometimes those are the those are the hands that turn into a bluff, right? Maybe not in this spot. Yeah, need some some equity. Some backup plan. Stephen Johnson, E and M. Oh, 
Pablo all in with the A6. Gonna get it through. About 15 blinds, right? Yep. Ace good enough. Especially three handed. I got gambling. <laughs> Daddy says I got, I got gambling. Then. Give me my cards back. <laughs> Feeling a lot better after that double. Yeah, he is. Made him forget about that six on the river, at least for a minute. Pretty good hand. It's above average. Danny short stack king. Well, let's find out. Let's hope he doesn't pick something up in the in the big line here. Uh oh, mm, Derek with a ten. Jack of hearts. He's been, and you know, Derek's been just shoving on uh, Pablo, but now he can't do it because Danny's doubled up, right? He's under, well, I guess he can, but they're, they're under Pablo. Yeah, and Pablo's the short one now. Let's see a flop. Yeah, that's a great hand to see a flop with. Danny King six, don't let it go. Uh oh. Derek's probably going to lose some chips in this pot. Unless it goes hard, hard somehow. Interesting. Small bet? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I like it even better than the check. It's 20%. Yep. Like it. Derek's surely going to call with middle pair and backdoor hearts. Backdoor straight. Yep. Hopefully for him, a heart doesn't pop off here. Ten would have been. Ugh. Yeah. Don't even put that in the universe. Yeah, nine was closed, but even now, a ten would make things a little more shaky. Oh, we we know. Derek probably doesn't have an ace, so we got to put him on a draw or a jack. So what do we bet? Try to get paid here. Well, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got like a million behind. Got about 300 out there. So I'd probably go like three and then eight. Yeah. Yeah, he went three. I feel like Derek's going to get away from this one, too. You know, he got a second pair. Yeah. He doesn't have a great second pair. This is kind of, I think, an easy fold, Mike. What is Pablo doing this with? Right. Just the blades. Yeah. Even his, his like, bluff hands are probably, like, he's maybe him, if, he's if he has him, 10 eight of spades. He showed, king, him, he showed him one ace when he was folding. King 10 of spades or something. Uh, even the... Chips out a little bit, didn't it? That's got Pablo and Danny close to the same stack now, I think. I think there's actually 7.8 in play. So that means uh, Danny's got about 2 million. There we go. Look at that. You know, uh, it's just, you just think it, and there it is. 4 million for Derek. Danny and Pablo hovering with a little less than 2. Probably, uh, probably get close to the end of the level, too. We don't have a clock back here, so we're guessing, but we've been at this for a little while at 4, 40 and 80. You guys are hard to get chips from. All right, what we got here? We got a little over 20. Oh, boy. We just stuffed it in there, a little over 20 bigs with pocket threes. Gambo. Gonna work. I got gamble in me. Yeah, he did. Come on, Belmont boys. I mean, a pair, a pair is pretty good. Three-handed, right? Final table is hard for them to pick up a better pair. And the <coughs> 20 blind shoves. Them small pairs have a lot of merit. When, you, when you're called, you're flipping when you're, her in bad shape. When you're the shorty. He's not the shorty, though. He was uh, slightly. They look the same. He slightly, he slightly covered Pablo, but now he, now he's. That was a nice pickup one. Look at this, yeah. aces. Oh boy, all this in. This hand is rigged. 
Oh. And he just crammed it in there again. Oh, yeah. Two million. That was 25 lines. That's unlucky for him, but that's not necessary yeah, stuff. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll run out four, three spades. He's in. He's had nine lives. Let's see if he's got another one. There's one spade. Jack and a spade. Uh, we're dead. Yep. Good game. Okay. Danny White for the Belmont boys is going to finish in third place. Take home $49,513. Very well played, Danny. Well played, buddy. I played with Danny uh, plenty of times here in Best Bet. I'm happy for him. Yeah. That's a nice, nice outcome. You're always disappointed when you walk away from the table if you don't win. But tomorrow morning he'll... Wake up and go, hey, I won $50,000. Oh, yeah. I think he's he, he's not too upset about it. All right, guys. So, yeah, we are uh, getting things gathered up here for Heads Up. So we are going to take a short five-minute break, and then uh, we will be back at it with uh, more of Best Bet Live. As uh, Here we are down to the final two between Derek and Pablo. So uh, hang tight. Be right back in five minutes for the rest of this final table.
Good try, though. Uh, yeah, we'll complete this level, then 30-minute levels from here on out. Okay. Oh, 30-minute uh, levels from here on out. Heads up. Uh, you guys are good. Everybody's good. Okay. Does somebody not know how heads up works? Actualize. Uh, I always forget. The... He's going to act. The, 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 he has to yeah, yeah. And then post-swap, he's Yeah, and then it goes back to normal. Correct. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that big, though? That was big. He stuffed That's funny. Wait. All right. These boys right, have man, locked up 67, almost $68,000, playing for another 32 or 3. Let's get it on. Here we go. Best bet 2K, winner open, main event. Heads up. I'm Eddie Marskowski with Kelly Slay, the old man in the beard. Thanks for joining in. Let's see how this bad boy wraps up. What if the old man grew a beard? Then what would we do? Listen up, because you don't really age, <laughs> and I'm gonna. So there's gonna come a point where we don't know who's who. <laughs> Check. See Derek starting with a little over six million. Pablo with around one point five. Four to one chip lead. Check. Start this heads up. Let's see if Pablo can. Overcoming. Yeah, he's going to need to pick up some hands here. Derek's not going to make any mistakes. You're just going to have to win some flips. There's Doc Stukes out there. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in, Doc. Betting a call with the Queen Highs. Uh, chop it up, boys. Mm. Not going to win that way. That just shows you Pablo's uh, not afraid. He called between high there on the turn. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we, we don't know we don't know how much heads up action he's got, although he was getting positions explained to him, so probably not much. But uh, you never know. He knew Queen High was good there. Well, he knew it was good job. Yeah, right, good right, job. Right. Derby Duster says, no mercy, Derek. Oh, really? I was actually being serious. Some places don't have any yeah, heads up. Oh, I thought you were joking, right? I was about to say, I need a refund. A lot of times <laughs> they don't have Yeah, yeah, I know. Sometimes, yeah. Or Andy's. Maybe not a big blind Andy. It goes to both of you. Nah, we still do all the same stuff. Had a nice, <laughs> nice, shiny trophy right there in the middle of the table. We, they should stack up the cash too. That'd be kind of cool, but oh, yeah, we'll like take the trophy. School. We'll take the trophy. 100k though, just be like a couple bricks. Yeah, that's all right. I wouldn't mind seeing could get it in one. Seeing, a, seeing a few bricks there. Could get it in ones too. Perfect. <laughs> Pennies. <laughs> Throw it at them. <laughs> Tanya says this has been a very entertaining final table. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. It has been. It's been some good play. Nobody's really uh, punted too much. Sometimes you can see just some horrific plays that we don't even know how to describe. That's but true. Everybody's played pretty well. That's true. This, uh, you know, we, we get our best in the 2K mains. In the mains. Yeah, yeah. So you tune in for some of these 400s, and you might see some wild I see stuff. some things. Yeah. I see some things. Yeah, you do. There ain't no might about it. <laughs> you see some things. <laughs> it's an experience out there. Yeah. The mains are the mains are good. We've had some some really you know top flight pros at these final tables with by not by accident. Yeah, right? every, every time there's TK's been. made a couple here. We had Jeff Trudeau. We had. Uh, there's always one or two really good traveling pros final table in these minimum so really. Look at K Bud. Slap a flush. Mm, she has a point. A beer I, could I, change your image at the table. You uh, can get more action. That's what I've been doing wrong. That's exactly right. That's it. I'm growing it out. Let me tell you, they don't fold to beards. Yeah, I, I've watched. I've watched them just keep paying you off. Yeah. Yes, he has it. When the chips go in, folks, he has it. No, he's, no I don't. No. <laughs> well, not always. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. I like not having it. It's, it's more fun. Yeah, it is more fun. That one time I bluffed a couple years ago. Yeah, it was, it a, was fun. It's like you heard it was more fun. Yeah, I did, and <laughs> I, I've been afraid to do it since. 
just sit and wait for those big cards. Lose my flip and whine to you. Yep, my nice got cracked. Text me on the way out. Derek's going to limp the nine do suited. Jack nine suited for Pablo. Whoa. Good, it's good flop. It's above average. Little small bet. Yeah, there we go. Nothing doing. Huh? Lucky for him. You got this time? How good? How high? Uh -huh. How high do they need to be heads up? Yeah. <laughs> you, you had no outs. You had two spades in your hand. Pablo's probably feeling like he's free rolling mm -hmm. after hitting that six on the river. That was it. That was at least a eighteen thousand dollar river card. That was, he was one card away from hitting the rail and. Now he's got a shot to win that beautiful glass trophy right there. And not to mention the 101,000 that goes with it. Yeah, that's just a bonus. Bonus. <clears throat> the one thing your house is missing is a nice big poker trophy like that. You know, not for long. There you go. Working on it. Once again, I'd like to uh, plug the Run Good series coming to here, best bet, March 14th through 24th, culminating in a $1,200 main event, 300K guarantee, same guarantee as this tournament. So uh, add that to your calendar, March 14th through 24th. I'm going to put it on my schedule and hope Mama Slay has not booked me somewhere else in the meantime. Yeah, same here. I just go where I'm told. We, li we live very similar lives. Uh, you know, keep mama happy is the secret to a smooth yep, life. That's how you stay happy. I'd say our mamas are pretty happy. I hope so. We can't do any more. Two pair for Pablo is not going to get Derek to come along with his gut shot. Run Bad Poker says there will be many more players for the Run Good. Yeah, for sure. They, you know, Not only are we going to have our regular best bet people, like the people that play in this, but we're also going to get Run Goods travelers a lot. They, they come with a big contingency. That's what we're here for. But you see the irony right there, right? Run Bad Poker. Players run good. Hit it. Bottom pair is probably worth a little bet here. Certainly doesn't want to see more more cards. Not going to get more any better. Cards. Usually not going to get any better on the turn. Hard to. I like it even better now. Take one down to nice some equity. Well, we can try to check it all the way down and hope we get there. Maybe Derek will bluff at it. One big blind bet at it. Why not? With the queen high. Probably done with it. Once he gets called. Check. Check. Tyler Harris says, do you guys like the check in the dark? I, I don't think I've ever done it. So that's a no. Checked in the dark? Well, you feel, I feel like you've checked in the dark. Not in a long time. Yeah. Not since I figured out I was supposed to be leading on some flops. There you go.
probably don't have a lot of leads heads up though. Picking in the dark doesn't mean much heads up. I don't know. I think we probably still do have some leads. Very rare. Much more well, that, rare. Much more rare than usual. I mean, they're rare in, in general, but heads up the ranges. It's like there's not much of a range advantage. Like that's, that's where you get the lead is because you have a range advantage. I think I remember seeing Negrano and me playing Polk and that uh, heads up Mac talking about not checking dark anymore not because he's got here. some leads. <clears throat> I think I remember seeing that. But you never know. I'm getting old. We'll see now. Yeah. No, I, I, no what, nothing's zero there's going to be, but very few. Less Less than Derek regular. flopping everything, trying to get some action desperately. Not going to get it. No. Nope. Begging him. Probably going to try to get him off a chop here, maybe. Begging him to bluff mm -hmm. at it. Nope. Derek trying to figure out what he can get called. Probably just going to go small, 100, 125. Almost induce the check raise. I don't think we get checked very much ever, but just want to get called. Well, I over bet. Yeah. Trying to make it look bluffy. Trying to make it look like he's getting Pablo off the chop. Pablo's having none of it. Too much to call it. Chop with, that's for sure. Two bigs for Pablo limps in with the H6. Derek gonna see a flop. Ooh, top two for Derek. Bottom pair for Pablo, and eight would be devastating. Mm -hmm. Eight would be devastating, and six he'd double up. Pablo gonna bet right out with his bottom pair. <clears throat> Derek probably just gonna flat here. Give him a little more rope. No, nope, here we go. Hope he's got a queen somehow. Probably all he's getting paid by. Good fold by Pablo. Yeah, snap folded. Didn't even give it a second thought. One good one, one bad one. Two pieces. Eight to back card. Yes. I like that. Pablo said the eight to back card. It is kind of blocks some of Derek's raised bluffs. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Derek now over six million in chips, slowly grinding him down as we expected. Pablo needs to pick up a hand here. It's under 20 bigs. Pablo keeps flopping the bottom pair, middle pair. Derek's flopping top pair or even top two. Check. What do we do here now size wise? 200 or less? Yeah, I, I like to just always get paid here, you know, so like like 150, 160. It's going bigger again. Like in all these spots, like I just want to get, I just want to he went, he went, chip he, at him, chip at yeah, him, yeah, I chip know. at him. He, he went almost pot here. I'm not trying to end him. I think he's going to get looked up. Hard to make a pair of heads up, huh? It is hard to make a pair of heads up. Yes, it is. He's tired of folding. Yeah. So all the draws missed. I mean, I don't hate a call here. 
I'm, I'm just at this size. Maybe that's why Derek went bigger to make it look like he's buffing a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Like when the draws miss, you know, you can kind of rip it. Doesn't matter if he has a missed draw; he's not going to call anyway. So right. if he doesn't, trying to put on the hero cape here. You heard him say it's hard to make a pair. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't mind this. Bad timing, but great bet by Derek. Yes, absolutely. Oh, full amount on the river. Yep. Damn, he did have it. The, the randomizer. He, he ruled correctly. He got the curve ruled. <laughs> I felt like early. Lines are up, guys. Lines are up this hand. I'll yeah, it was a queen or air. That's what it was. At that size, right? It was. Here we go. Now it's getting real. 50,000, mm. 100,000. Tough right, right yeah. after losing that big pot. He needed a better roll, he said. Randomizer. That means that means for you those of you watching, he was he was considering calling a folding and basically flipped a coin. Came up the wrong way for him. He claims. Oh boy. Jack do suited. How many bigs? Ten bigs? Ten bigs. That's a call. Yeah. Here we go. That's ambitious. Finish him. That's hard to get much further ahead. That is correct. 73% of the time, Derek's going to take this bad boy home. Good, good window card. Not so Ooh. good. No chops. Need a deuce. No deuce. And that's a wrap. There we have it. Sugar game stuff. You play good. Like yep. Ones. Yep. Can Pablo's. Played very well to get to second place, and Derek uh, played really well all night. Like uh, some of those folds he made early on were just spooky, spot on good. Yeah, super. Like uh, pa well done, pa Pablo from Georgia. He does take home sixty-seven thousand six eighty-five for his efforts. And your winner of the two thousand twenty-four Winter Open Best Bet Main Event, Derek Bowers, one hundred one thousand five hundred thirty-eight dollars. Slim Thugger bringing the trophy home, coming out of retirement. Hadn't played poker in six months. Going to take another six months off. <laughs> right. Six figures in six months and take another six months off. That seems yep. like a good plan. Yep. Well done, sir. Uh, again, I'm Eddie Marskowski. That's Kelly Slay, the old man in the beard. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. As always, keep repping the nuts. Never gets old. All right, guys. Again, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, we'll be back at it Thursday night with Cash Game Action here on Best Bet Live. Uh, thanks to Eddie and Kelly for commentating this final table as well. For our dealers, uh, Jacob and Kirk. My name is Ryan, also known as Country. Again, thanks you so much for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you Thursday night. Take care. Be easy. Thanks for watching.